You want to know what's the story? Paul and Laurie can tell you what's been going on. How to get eco life from licking bum. They'll cover conspiracies and aliens. Tell you about pissy floors, popping spots, and one bombs. Getting told off for shagging your mum, combining a scouser and a girl from Birmingham. You can tune in, hear what they have to say. It might be smoking weed, might be some weird role play. Welcome to What's a Story, Paul and Laurie. Oh yeah, <laughs> sounds nice that. Does it? Sounds nice that. Oh, thanks. Sounds nice was fun. Does it? I think it was good. Is that because you didn't have to say it? No, I just felt like it had a nice tone to it. Did it? Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I uh, hope you're all good. I uh, hope you're well. We've had a nice night, haven't we? We have. Being down to Hot Whistle. How was the comedy? Hot whistle, me nizzle. The nice night with Danny Mac and Nick Page and Emmanuel Shinobi. It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah. Took our pabbers down. It's been getting a lot of attention. It's warm in here. Yeah, it's some burger. Today, oh, we're in a fucking, we're in, we're in our lazies. We forgot to get ale on the way home. <laughs> so we've got, <laughs> half, we've got half a bottle of rosé between us. We're drinking dregs. I was going to say Greg. I was going to say Greg. I made the was in the fridge because it's fucking roasting tonight. It's close. Close. It That's a nice breeze, though, out the window. Yeah. Good thing about doing these late is that what? nothing's driving past. Like there's no, there's, there's very little outside noise. I mean, there's not many people that drive past your street. It's pretty quiet. It's because uh, I live in a gated community where you people can't go. And all the neighbours go, <laughs> morning, morning. And like, he, morning, Giles. Yeah. Morning, Rupert. <laughs> and you, you just get your grass mowed without asking. I did so ask. Well, I asked him to borrow his mower, and he just came and mowed it for me, like, because he's a good guy. Shout out, Steve. Anyone would think that you was, like, a single mom. That can't do it, because Steve's, like, the the man that cut the man who can, and he comes and, like, does all your little jobs. me. Does all your little jobs for you. Yeah, him and Jane look after me. <laughs> well, I've just got a way about me where people like to mother me. <laughs> actually <laughs> i don't really mother you though no but like like the washing the cleaners mother me the cleaners do the yeah the washing woman mothers me yeah is that the one that i got for you yeah the washer woman yeah they look after me then yeah so when we turned up with fucking 25 bags of washing and they just looked at me because i was helping him bring all of it in and it just looked at me like i was a disgrace of a woman like why didn't you just put do a bit at a time like and looked at me I'm like, this isn't my doing. This isn't my fucking washing. This is his. It was. It, and they looked a lot at me like it was there, my responsibility to do all of his washing. And what's they looked at me like is, I was scum. She says this, but what's happened is she's literally. It, 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 we don't live together, but in stages, incrementally, she's just deposited most of her stuff here. Well, I have to because I And it goes, just gets slapped into the my what? Yeah, if you know if you check my drawers. Yeah. There's none of my clothes in them anymore. Right, Literally you know not what? one item can of I my just, clothing. Can I just it's start? all your shit. All right. But do you know what, Paul? I do a lot of driving. I, I, I dedicate a lot of time to you and this podcast. Yeah? Show. So don't you dare begrudge Show. me a draw, okay? In no, we're not room. saying one draw. You've got six and I've got none. How is that? Go don't, look. I swear, I've just looked to get How the T-shirt. I've got three How drawers you and you've got three drawers How on the other bear? side. How much 20 quid. Bear? We'll film it after the show and I'll 20 put it quid. In. 20 look quid. stupid, yeah. No, I'm not. No, I've just been in them, so there's I know. There's more of your stuff in all no, the drawers than mine. So what, the right hand side is mine, which is three, and the right, the left the hand side The second one is down yours. on the left side, what's in it? There's a dress in it. No. Oh, yeah. I is never, that mine? Is that my dress? No, the cleaners put that in there. That's a lie. They did. I never That's put it in there. The cleaners put it in there. And do you know what? I'm missing something. used to keep me pineapple joggers. <laughs> Well, I was saying about them, you know, right? And uh, because, you know, when we, when you was on stage tonight, mm. one of the girls, I think she was Becky's friend, I can't remember her name now, she went, fangirl in here. She went, I've got to say, I love you all to this podcast. She went, my favourite one was the pineapple joggers. And she and I was like, yeah, they're knocking about somewhere they are, which they are. I think I threw them away. No, you didn't, because I was in that blue bag. Oh. I think the blue bag's somewhere. 
I hope we never throw them away. Because I, I want to frame them and put them in our new podcast studio. Yeah, I think they're iconic, aren't they? And the brush. The brush I've got now, I used. I took all that fucking scraggy blonde hair out. did you? You meth? Yeah. She's going to be fuming it's when like she finds It's like a medal that I wear. I got him made and it, your voodoo, fucking brush is Made slut. a voodoo doll with the hair. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Poking it with pins all the time. <laughs> Sniffing it and that and getting a scent. Mm. I'm going to sniff her out one night. Mm. Yeah. Hey, what do you reckon on this, right? People out there, show fans, um, little Paul and Lozers. Obviously, we've been chatting about getting uh, a little studio up in the game a little bit. Mm. And uh, taking it to the next level. Next level. Um, level, level, level. And we've we'll been trying to sit down and have a little think about what makes us unique within the marketplace. And I yeah. think with the fact that we go live, I like that we we go live, we do it live. Yeah. Um, so we've been thinking about how we can maintain that. Um, and we want to, we, we had a little brainstorm on the way home, didn't we? And thought it'd be nice to do it actually live in front of a have little crowd. Have an audience. But like... In our own studio. So we need to. F- so if anyone knows anywhere where there's a little bit of studio space that would have twenty four hour access, and we would be able to get a little like it's have quiet. About it, twenty chairs, twenty five. Twenty five chairs. chairs in, and and like obviously a desk and a little recording studio. And like have a have a. Um, it's a little show. Email WTS Paul and Laurie yeah. at gmail But it needs to be ours though. It's got to be ours. That we that we rent, not buy, but we want to rent it. Yeah. But it can't, we can't be, like, sharing it with other people. It's going to have all our shit in it. Mm. It's going to have a proper set in it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we'd like. And then we're going to launch on And then Patreon. we'd have, then people can buy tickets or the Patreons can have. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we, we were looking at thinking about Patreon tiers and then we thought, oh, it'd be good if we could just, like, if you were at the Patreon, you'd get, like, some tickets to the come and see the show and you can mm. get involved and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, Danny's put damn studios. Yeah, but it's not... I can't be asked driving to Chester every fucking oh, day. is it in Chester? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. Is it big, is it? It's good. Da- Danny's studio is dead good, but it's just too far away. Oh, Rob said I know somewhere in Chester. Yeah, far. it's too far away. It's just yeah. a night, because we'd have to... like There'd be some nights where we'd like... Ugh, it's just a fucking Get nightmare. pissed. <laughs> yeah, and we, we, have, we, we always get pissed... At the podcast, so it needs to be like taxi distance home. Mm. Yeah, it does really. I don't want to have to do the podcast and not have a bevy. But <clears throat> I need to choke them. It's awesome. Um, this is, it's Liverpool, though. It's to be something, wouldn't it? It's got to be something in Liverpool. Yeah, I'm just putting it out there in case anyone wants to give us a bit of dizzy. A little bit of dizzy. Fishing yeah. for the dizzy. <laughs> like free shit. Love a bit of free shit. And if you can sort us out, we'll, uh, we'll put the name, your name on the seat. <laughs> you can be there for one show every then week. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could like a, like a park like a park bench. Yeah. Name it after him. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were gonna do that with hot water, you know. Really? Like yeah, because we tried to crowdfund the. Well, not we. I mean they, but like we tried to crowdfund it for the first club. Yeah. Never ended up working. Did not. Did not but get any money. I think money. they were gonna give. I think some people helped, but like we were gonna give. I think we were gonna name a seat or like name a seat after we put people's names on seats or something. Really? Didn't really ever work out. Didn't end up needing it to do it. But I'd have been fuming if I gave money and my seat, my name weren't put on the seat. Mm. I'd have been fucking raging. <laughs> I'd have gone in and graffitied my name. <laughs> <laughs> Lazo was here. Lazo was here. <laughs> you should do that on that front seat where we met. Oh yeah. The Loz seat. I'm trying to think now. So, was Katie on the end? Mm. And I was you were the in. second one in. You were in one, on, on the one left. Eight, you were in. Oh, do you know the number? Mm. That's really cute. How did you know that? Cause I, did you look? Because I see it every time. Because the seats are always up now because we've got no one in the front now. 108. I think it's it's either 8 or 108. Might be eight. 8. Might be 8. Why did you think it was 108? So you don't know then. No. no, I question myself after I said one away. Well, it's definitely f- eight, though. Well, that cuteness Something just with went eight out in it. the fucking window. Something with eight in it. Just saying, something with eight in it. Eight is late. <laughs> Paul's too obsessed <laughs> with. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm always late. Why is it? 
take the piss out of me. <laughs> no sense. Fuck you. Right. Let's say hello to the people in the chat. No happy one. Becky Beckham's in. No way, Aspie. Becky Beckham's old. In. <laughs> Looking, local working man's club says Whoppy One in the show. They have room and they. Nah, that's. What in the fucking. I think what you, you've done there is fucking completely misunderstood our needs there. <laughs> I'm going to be sat trying to do a fucking podcast talking about me fucking willy and that and there's fucking some hairy ass fella who's just come out of work going, what's this shit? I know. <laughs> Been coming in here for 25 years. <laughs> I just want to have a quiet pint. I want to pay £1.50 a pint. I don't want to have to listen to this fucking dabbed. <laughs> who's this brummy bird? That's what should we, I'll be saying. How much for the po- for Pirate Studios rock? Where's that? Rob. What's that? Where's that? I need. Pirate. We need. We want our Isn't own. Pirate guy. Studios, like where they have decks and that. Well, that's Pirate Radio. No, no, they have like because Jack goes to Pirate Studios in Plymouth, and they like play sets and that in there. Oh, I don't know. Like a re- like a recording studio. I wouldn't think it would be that like the same thing, would it? If it's the same company. I don't know. Why don't you just rent an industrial unit and convert it? I looked. There's n- there's nothing going that for the size that we would need. I did have a little look. And the cost, the w- there was like one or two. They were, one was in a fucking awful place where yeah. I would not ask anyone to travel to. Yeah. Um, and the other one was massive and about £2 million a year. <laughs> Something ridiculous, yeah. But it was, I mean, when I say it was like the size of Jack. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you're not looking in the right places. I don't know if I was looking in the right places. Have you looked on like commercial? Yeah. I looked on commercial. Maybe we just get like a shop. <gasps> no. No. Not putting your brow studio convert. in there. No, no I don't mean a fucking brow studio. Just get a shop and convert it into but a. But the rates are never going to be loads of money. No, because if it's under. If it's uh, if it's under twelve grand, it's you don't pay business rates. You get a shop. Yeah, you just convert it into a studio. Mm. Not a bad idea. Like that one down. I mean, I don't know whether you'd want to be. Let's not tell people where we are. No. Why? People know where you live. No one knows where I live. Well, that place that we saw that I stopped off at. Yeah. Would you want to be by there? Yeah, that'd be sound. Or home from there. That's what I'm saying. Delta. You know what I mean? That's like, that's 12, that is 1,200 square, f- no, 12, yeah, 1,200 square feet. Mm. It's big, that. Mazzy. Mazzy. How much was it? Um, 11,000 a year. Not bad. That's pretty good. Mm. Um, Alex Richardson says, not build a cheeky wee garden studio at the gaff. I did think that for a second. and that's then 25 grand, that. It would, and also, don't really want to have people coming to my house all the time. Coming to your house. Nah, some crazy bitches, man. Mm. Can't be doing that. Fucking pineapple joggers everywhere, me. Oh, my God. Fucking. I'll be fucking strangling them with them. My dogs are fucking idiots. Oh, God, yeah. Couldn't have Jack there. (laughs) Jumping up at the fucking window. Yeah. Um, there's these shared office blocks that rent out offices might be worth a shout. Yeah, again, we don't want to... Like, it's not the worst idea, mm. but I don't really want to be ping. Uh, if I'm going to bring an audience in, I want it to look like a place where the audience wants to go. Yeah. don't want to walk an audience through an office block. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, true. It's a bit shitty. Like, it's not shitty, but it's a bit not what I want. I think we should look at a... Like a, re- like a Commercial, commercial premises. Commercial premises. Like a shop. That's what I think. They'll have a little look. Maybe we'll get some uh, nice landlords. Email WTS Travel here. Travel here, yeah. yeah. Mm, good day. Yeah, we're not fucking end of the world, are we? No. It's not in Liverpool, is it? It's just outside, though. Mm. Don't tell people I don't live in Liverpool. Why? I lose my purple bin. You don't. <laughs> Why are you not supposed to have a purple bin? No, Rob one. Did you? Mm. Where from? Wasn't I couldn't I couldn't live without a purple bin. Where from then? What does I'm a purple joking, bin I haven't entail? really robbed a purple bin. But a maroon bin. 
What does a purple bin do? Get a purple bin's Liverpool, isn't it? Is it? It's famous. You got a fucking purple bin. So you got a maroon one here. Got a maroon one, yeah. Dirty that. Two dogs fighting one. <laughs> Nosley Castle. <laughs> Got to set a dress code for your first pod as pineapple joggers and blonde wigs. Fucking hell. The multi skill builder seems to know what he's talking about. What's Shops are a nightmare for licensing premises. No use complaints on that. Oh, yeah. No, but we'd get. We, no, but we'd have to be soundproofed. We'd get what's his name to soundproof it all. So yeah, no, we'd audio treat it. He wouldn't soundproof it. What He'd kind of? No, we're not opening a rave. Yeah, do you know what we'd I mean? have people in there, it would be loud. And it's it? on the night, so we can go in when we like. No yeah, one's going to so, be yeah. there. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I know, because I got one myself. How much you reckon an industrial unit would be? So, anyway, we should really talk about this. This is not good podcast chat, is it? Why? It is. <laughs> talk about what we fucking like. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think a shop would be fine. Hey, Paul, my Rob Thomas said wool like he doesn't live in Sefton. Where's Sefton? Not in Liverpool. Is that in Manchester? <laughs> no, it's 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 Bootle. Oh, is it? But he hasn't got a Why fucking purple bin either, Manchester? little knobhead. What colour's your bin, Rob? Fucking Sefton Council, you little rat. <laughs> Hi, guys. Love the pod. Just got my tickets for the first date on the tour at Glasgow. When's that in 2057? Ugh, 2022, mate. Oh, is it next year? 15th oh, July. Of July. July, yeah. I thought it was. Start the next door. <laughs> no, what are you calling that? Calling it fucking finally. <laughs> 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 finally, it's, it's happened to me right in front of my face. face. I've got singing Tourette's fan. Singing Tourette's? Yeah, like I have it. as well. Yeah. I think I've got it worse than you. They start you off all the time. I know. Just have to say one word. I don't know much. I don't know how I love you. Do that one all the time. I know, that's so annoying. I hate that, that one. Maybe all I need, I need to, to know. know. <laughs> it's weird because you have like a little album. I will play this. You have an album <laughs> of annoying <laughs> songs that stick in my head for the rest of my life. <laughs> Evan sang, there once was a ship that oh went God, to sea that's and the, the name of the ship was the belly of tea. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, it's soft. <laughs> Spongy. So <laughs> yeah, I am bad for that. So catchy. Catch. It is a catchy tune now. Pablo's giving it the big one. Whenever you can hear him barking at nothing. What are you up to, Claire? Who's Rob trying to chat up? <laughs> <laughs> Rob's in the fucking Rob's sliding in the fucking DMs on the YouTube. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Smoking a blunt, she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, I can't even. I think that fucking experience of the week ruined weed for me, you know. Oh my god! I haven't had much weed since I had it through the night, and I felt a bit. Woof, Just a wobbly. recap of that. Paul pulled the worst white I've ever seen in my life. That's a lie. On our date night. That's an exaggeration. On our first date night since we've been together. <laughs> I should cut the video of him and be putting my own head in my sick. Have you not deleted it? No. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought you deleted <laughs> no, it. Because I recorded him, like, if you don't know, I, I, I recorded him being sick because it was a very, very, like, pinnacle moment. She didn't help me. No, I pointed and laughed like any good woman <laughs> would do. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? If I'd have been like, oh, but what am I going to do? Hold your hair back. You got fuck all there. Do you know what I mean? No, what was I going to do? Hold your head for you? Rub me back. And maybe not put me head in my own sir. No, but let's just think about this though. You know when people rub your back when you're sick? What the fuck does that do? Just it does comfort, fuck it? all. It does nothing. Comfort. Except for, like, you just want to go, get off me. Nah, you can't because you're being all the time when you're being sick. You're stupid. Sick all the time Don't rub my back. Rub back. I'm sorry. I know. I appreciate you. You moaned at me for not rubbing your back. No, I, like hold my hair back. Yeah, but like, no, you don't need to rub my back. It's stupid. No, it's no reason for it. Pointless like exercise. Well, being nice. No. You tried to film me when I pissed on your floor and I was being sick. Mm. Yeah? I didn't. Well, you didn't. Do you know why you didn't? Because I, I fucking the locked the door. Because I'm not stupid. Even when I'm pissed. I'm not stupid. 
you, you're you just don't have any filter or any, anything when you're. Um, he's what? complete. He's got no. There's no I'm, inner strength I'm in him. I'm comfortable with who I am. No, so am I. I'm, I'm comfortable so am with my own vulnerability. Yeah, you're very vulnerable mm-hmm. when you're It's quite worrying, really. Like when I said to Dad, like, just make sure you look after Paul when you're in Ibiza. Which you can't go to Ibiza can't now. Can't go now. And we know mm-hmm. that. I know, but I'm just saying, like, Paul Blair wants to go to you. Bulgaria. Because I do worry about you. I think Bulgaria is going to be worse. Bulgaria will be worse in Ibiza. Because Bulgaria, there's no fucking Law. inhibitions. <laughs> there's no there. Just don't get caught with the Bulgarian mafia. I th- literally an hour off the plane. I'm not gonna have a fucking clue what's going on until the moment I get back on the plane. Oh dear, and Paul Blair, my best man's not gonna any fucking good because he's a dickhead. I know. Your dad's your dad's like I'll help him, but he's fucking not gonna help me. Rob going? Yeah, Rob. Yeah, Rob will be sad. Yeah, Rob will because he'll have me Rob's to deal with otherwise. <laughs> he'll be going to me, Laurie. Do you know what Paul's doing? Fucking rat, oh, you know. mate. He's a fucking rat, you know. He's going to fume, know. you've said that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he just insinuated he's a grass. Oh, That's horrible, no. that. He's oh, fu- you just stoned? I was joking. You've just literally just Fuck ruined yeah. your friendship there, you know. No, I haven't. You have. No, you, I haven't. You know, swear to God, he won't let that go. No, he's I haven't. fuming there. 69. Um, Laurie, do you plan on getting any tattoos? Oh, yeah, put a picture on. Because... <laughs> <laughs> There's basically this app. No, not an app, sorry. There's a filter on Instagram that's a tattoo. And I, pu- I, I was naked today and I put it on. And I thought, oh, fucking hell, I look quite sexy. And I put it on. I mean, there was a big octopus on the neck, which I thought was a spider at first. But it, it's an octopus. But it just looks like a big pair of black bollocks. That's what it looks like. So that was not attractive. I like the one on your boob, though. The one on my boot. Mm-hmm. What was it like? A um, dragon. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't have a I dragon it tattoo. Though. It's very nineties, isn't it? I liked it? it. You look sexy. I'd ha- I'd have. I liked some... goth, Laurie. No. I liked it. It wasn't goth though, was it? It was very either? goth. It was like the girl with the dragon tattoo. Was it? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th- I mean that w- the picture was a bit much. But I liked it, me. I had a shag daily. I just don't know. Like I think. The only thing that made me look sexy was the fact that the whole filter filtered your face as well. So that made me look about 21. Like, my tits obviously are, g- are good. I've got good tits. But I just think tattoos like that, I just think they just, I don't know, I've got this thing in my head where they just only look good on, like, young skinny girls. But then I have nah. seen I have seen curvy girls with tattoos and they look sound. Yeah. I know, yeah, but I just don't know. Especially that type where it's like liney. Yeah. Like the line art ones. Yeah. Because that name, the girl who, from the place where I got that done, mm. the girl who works in there, Courtney, she does boss ones like mandalas and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, one thing, oh, I'd like something here. Yeah. One of those mandalas. She does manda- all like dead mandalas. fine line patterns, but they look dead good. Yeah. Mm. And I do want, because I, I won't have Paul's name on me. Because you've got like that little thing there to symbolise me, haven't you? I think I'd I want somewhere. P.S. I love you. Oh. Is it P.S. Paul Smith? Or piss stain? <laughs> <laughs> no one loves a piss stain, though, do they? My floor doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm up to it up with your tea towel, so shut your mouth. <laughs> Still don't think I've washed that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that smell is. <laughs> You've probably fucking dried yourself with out of the shower with that. <laughs> <laughs> when you've run out of towels. <laughs> Laurie's pissy fucking... What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? I feel like you're going to say something that I'm going to hate you for. What are you going to say? I don't want to say it, no. Go on. Did you use that yellow towel to dry yourself? Don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Do you know what? I smelt it before, right? I smelt it before and I thought, I'm sure this has been passed around quite a lot. Why? What did you do with it? Clean come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> you're a dirty fucking... You're a dirty prick. What? I had a wank and it was there. Oh, I was rubbing everywhere <laughs> with it. Good for your skin. I was rubbing everywhere <laughs> with it. I wiped my face with it. I didn't know. I seen that you'd used it. I was like, oh, I don't know. 
You've had me come on here before. I know, but I'd like to know. I know, you know. That was involuntary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I bet you had set up a little camera somewhere to spy on me, uh, wiping myself uh, with it. I would have told you. If I had the seen you about to do, I would have told you. Oh, I had it on my hair and everything. Come on, yeah. That's why your hair looks nice. No, it's not. It's because I had it fucking washed for me. Silky. <laughs> Silky smooth. Lots of zinc. Silky smooth. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, oh, God. Why have we only got one towel in this fucking house? <laughs> I swear you got to two God. You've washing machine. What, the washing machine that Listen, loses clothes? When I moved into this house, it was just me and then the kids after we. So yeah. I just bought two nice towels. Well, get some more. You buy some more, you're a Why woman. Why do I have to? Oh, so you're moaning at me for fucking ab- having a couple of drawers in this house. All of but the But you're drawers. making me buy fucking towels. You're making me buy my own cutlery next. And my own fucking glasses and that. Don't you? You were. Why would I? To buy my own fucking house, house items. <laughs> my own chair to sit on. <laughs> You've already been trying to buy a new to, couch. Like, wear my own clothes and that next. <laughs> oh, we could get a new couch and put that on in the studio. Ooh, yeah. It'd be a good Can I choose couch that? Because that's a bit of me, that. What? Can I choose? No. Why? Why, Paul? What a fucking This couch. is a shared business. Oh, in, no, in the house, I mean, in, that, in my house. Like what, in this house? The living room. Can I choose? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? You choose room? shit couches, though. I don't choose. I fucking I hate, right. I hate Paul's couch, right. It's the most uncomfy. It's not. It's a lazy boy shit. couch. It's fucking boss. Right, and it's not expensive, but it's shit. It's cold. It's hard. It sticks to your skin. It's not comfy. It's a weird shape. And it's That's just all awkward. To you can't you. cuddle it. You can't. <laughs> cold. I'm not cold. Cold, hard, a weird shape. Uncomfortable. <laughs> Weird shape. Do you know what? Right, this talking of weird shapes, right? Just want to point something out about Paul, which I find mad. Right. What are you gonna say, you know? I was in joking, stop being audible. I'm not gonna say you're a weird shape. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, right, so Paul is a very he's not a judgmental person, like he doesn't judge people, he's very good like that. But one thing that he will judge a person on, like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Is, I ca- I literally, I guarantee you, every time we go out of the house together, we'll be driving along, and he'll go, she's a weird shape, ain't she? <laughs> but, like, it's not even just once in a blue moon. I'm talking. Uh, he but says always it a woman. It's every a fe- day. Like, fellas as well. Yeah, no, but I know, some people I'm just, just yeah. have weird bodies. No, I just And that's not even, like, a, the fat or not. It's just, like, they, they have, like, little arms and he'll long go, legs or something. Hasn't he got a weird shape? I'm yeah. like... No you know, we see dead skinny that. people, but then they've got like a big fat. Like, I know there. what you mean. They look like but it's just a weird thing for you to notice. No. About, I've never known anyone notice. Because I'm a very observant person. Yeah, but so am I. But I don't. Not the same. I don't as judge me. people on what shape they are. I don't. Of course I don't. Whenever I point that out, you go, oh, yeah. I know what you're saying when you <laughs> point it out. I know what you're saying when you point it out. You love when I point that shit out. We have a laugh about it. No, but I just think it's weird how you how it's you notice it's that. Nice to judge people on the sly, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. It is, on the sly, it is. It's though. not on the sly. Maybe you've got a weird shape, and everyone I else have got is saying. I've got a back ass. Do you think I've got a weird shape? No, you've got a good shape. I've Do said you think? this to you before. I have got. You're a very long... lucky with the shape you've got. I'm lucky. Yeah. You carry weight very well. Me. Yeah, like I've put on two. St- I was saying this today. I've put on two stone since I've met Paul, so I'm two stone heavier. But it all goes on the right I'm places. T- I'm two stone heavier in two years. So I've put on a stone a year. Like some women who would put two stone on would just look like a fucking yeah. To be fair, blamange. it could be worse. But like you still have the right shape. Yeah. You just put the weight on in the areas that you want it to be. Yeah. Whereas I put weight on at the top of me, at the bottom of my back, so it looks like I've got two asses. <laughs> <laughs> I can have. Eight abs and an ass on my back. <laughs> I swear, I slapped your ass when you walked up the stairs, and I got the wrong ass. <laughs> slapped it for, I did. Slapped it four times. I slapped the top ass, <laughs> and you went ow, and I thought, "Oops, that was his top ass." Yeah, that one hurts. <laughs> it's shrinking now, though. I know. Notice because you keep slapping it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So I haven't eaten for fucking two months. Fuck off. <laughs> Fat prick. <laughs> 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 Do you know, I was leaving for work this morning, right? Me and Paul have got this weird thing where it's like if we both eat, if we eat without each other, like we both fume, like we f- it's like cheating. I'm going to call the other one a slag. Slag, fat cunt. I called him a fat cunt <laughs> before I left work today because he said he was going to get a breakfast <laughs> without me. And I was like, you fucking fat, go on, have your breakfast, you <laughs> fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking slammed the door. <laughs> and I thought, I bet that's put him off now. <laughs> I got a blackie though. Do you hear that, Danny? <laughs> Do you hear that, Danny? <laughs> Danny heard the combo earlier. I and I said, so what have you eaten today? And he was like, nothing, you know, nothing. Like, and I was like, really? He was like, nothing, I haven't eaten, eat, eaten a thing. Got a, I got a full English with extra, Where from? extra beans. I knew you'd had a box from, of breakfast. The only one I could get it from was a place called Butty Butty-licious. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, Butty Butty-licious, but I'm going to give you three out of five. Three out of five? They, didn't, they forgot me drinks. Oh, fucking hell. So, two and a half out of five. The sausages were good. They're the same as the other gaff. <laughs> so they were pap bloods. Like Thanks for reminding me, Rob. Sorry. Black pudding was too thin, though. It was like, they give you one slice of black pudding, sliced into two slices of black pudding. What? So oh, right. so a skinny things, one. Little skinny black pudding. And oh. I was like, that's, I feel like I've been robbed. Yeah, like they tried to have you and, off yeah, there. And the hash browns are overdone. The yeah. beans were all right. The bacon was sound. But, yeah. Well, it wasn't a... Um, there's no station coffee house. It wasn't. No. There's no prep. I'm glad fresh. I'm glad it was shit. <laughs> it wasn't shit. It was it was all right. It done the job and the eggs were good. If you'd have got a station coffee house, that's the equivalent of you getting a fucking high class. I wouldn't hooker. have done that. I wouldn't have done that without you. Like yeah. that's the equivalent of you getting a high class hooker when I've left I would the only, eggs. I would only eat a, I would only get a little the bit. The fact that you got a little cheap need, little slag. I'd only do I'm like a asked. little North Wales I'm not caravan asked. site brecky. As long as you use slag. protection, I'm not asked. Yeah. Finger a little towel and slag on the side. If she's fitter than me, you can fuck her. <laughs> Only if she's got bobbly joggers on. <laughs> bobbly joggers. Breck, you had bobbly joggers. <laughs> Everyone's telling me to down my drink. Fucking dr- drink pushers, man. Oh. He never drinks a drink. It's because I'm too busy fucking yapping. That's why. But then again, that's the last one, so don't darn it. Got none left. I've got jammy red roux. Oh. Don't turn. I can't just speak. I hate them jammy red wines. The shit. Oh god, that just tastes like fucking raisins. Raisins. Raisins meat. Have we got anything to cow then? What we got? Is a jammy one. I don't know. Oh, it's downstairs, isn't it? Yeah, you have to go and get that. Oh, there's a bottle of champagne in the pre- in the fridge. Is that my champagne? Mm, Harvey Nicks. Harvey Nicks. Have we not drank that? No. Is it? I've is just it, put is it, it in it the corked? fridge before. Yeah, it's unopened. Oh, fucking hell. What are we doing here, then? Can you, you can't get past that camera. There's no way. Your ass is taking everything out there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I just flashed me gash, then. Did you? I think so. One of the flaps come it on. It was sweaty. I'll keep, the, um, I'll keep the chat entertained on, while you go and get some champers. On, I, I did put it in the fridge before. So, I mean, it's been in there for about 45 minutes or something. I don't know how cold it'll be. Um, so I'll be all good let's see who's in the chat is your new tattoo done no I, I need to go back I was talking to him today actually um, it's a uh, I need to come round the front but what I'm scared of I had a bit of a bad reaction on this side and my arm swelled up loads right this is the only part of my body I, can, I can't afford to lose because basically what happens is I hold the mic like this at work right so if this arm fucks up I have to hold it with this hand, which you wouldn't think would be a bad thing, but I'm so used to holding it with this hand that this hand gestures. So when I was doing it with this hand, I was just like, Hiya. and I, I, you would think, just don't do that, but it's hard when you're in the moment, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. How cold is it? Yeah, it's all right. You can get champagne glasses. Huh? You can get champagne glasses. Oh, fuck. Oh, you need to let me in, you know. Oh, my arse is massive. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Been saying you're in a weird shape. I'm prepared. Did you not get champagne glasses now? Nah. Oh my god. Becky and where? <laughs> Shout out Becky Heron. Um she's opening one of these the other day and fucking broke her cheek with the fucking cork. What? She just like popped it out and went, fuck off. Hit the glasses into her face and fucking fractured the cheekbone. 
I'm having some of this, I am. I like this. You're not having none of this? No, I'm going to have some of this. We might as well drink this, Paul. Oh. Come on. No, I'm not having that. Just part. dab it, no, it's I've lovely. Trevento. Oh, okay. We're on the Horrible. red. I'd rather not drink fucking anything. Stay like fucking shitty rib either. Love the fact she was gone fast to get it. I don't wrap tattoos in self. That's why it swells apparently. Not it weird. That what it was is, um, because I've I've had loads done on this side and I always wrap that. Still needs to get finished. But like, he works a lot. So I don't think I think Travis, he works very quick and it's just a massive trauma to me now because he done all that in like seven hours in what in like in the space of like three days. And it just fucking battered me out. That's all it was, basically. What is Rob going now? Wow. That was too quick. Good night, Nobed. Claire, don't be letting on to me at, at the Strand. They've been having a full-on relationship here. Yeah, yeah. Rob anyway, and Claire. I, I feel like we shouldn't get into that. No? We don't know what's happened. Oh, okay. Um, it's, just, it's, too dis- it's very distracting. What, that people are having their own conversations on our lives. Yeah, because we're trying to keep up with it, do you know what I mean? Cheeky, that. And it's just confusing to us. Rob's cheeky. Cheeky, Rob. Stop yeah. trying to finger Claire. I forgot what I was saying then. Sorry. Sorry I interrupted. Mm. You're bad for that. Oh, I'm not. Why don't you just get a new fucking podcast host, Dan? I'm shy. Show host. Come on, come on, she's shy. Who? She's scared of you. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> glad to fuck off. <laughs> I had to suck my fucking massive dick. Mm. <laughs> oh, now she's gone. What's the score with the stag, orgies, and that sound? Fuck off, Rob. He gives it such a big one. <laughs> I know. He gives it such a big one. He does, doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> on the phone. I think we miss you, Laura. <laughs> I'm coming on the stag. <laughs> I'm one of the strippers. I'd actually be made up with that. Would you? Yeah, because I could chug it. Yeah, you could. Without any guilt. I know. Do you want me to just wear a disguise? I mean, I'd yeah, be a fucking crack in I'll disguise, wear. I don't know. You'd know, though. I know I'd know because you'd speak. No, I wouldn't speak. <laughs> you fuck. Just... Absolutely no way. No. I, I, think I've, I think I've gone five minutes in the last two years when I haven't heard you'd speak. And you live fucking 300 miles away. <laughs> No, I'd put a bag on my head. Hey, and you still speak? Just dance. Look, all right, Paul. I wouldn't. What are you doing? Why would I do that? That's what you speak for. I don't speak like that because I'm not a yam yam. I'm not like you, actually. I'm not a yam yam. Yeah. Spot on. I'm not a yam yam. I'm a brummy. I'm a very right. naughty boy. That didn't make any sense. I see. <laughs> Monty Python, isn't it? <laughs> Monty Python. No relevant. He's not the Messiah. How do you know what he was? Aaron said, your picture on Instagram, Lori, is wow. <laughs> I mean, fair Thanks, enough. Aaron. It was good. I enjoyed it. Very he- heavily it. filtered. But, you know. That's me as in that kind of style. Which I don't think I could pull off for many years. So if I was tattooed like that, I wouldn't be able to pull it off for long. Because no one wants to see a 60-year-old fucking flexing those tattoos, do they? 60? Right. Yeah, I reckon they do. Do they? Mm. Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be covered in tattoos by the time I'm 60. Oh, yeah. yeah. Should we just not give a fuck? And I'm going to have get, my fucking head and everything. Just get ta- should we should just get all, like, loads of tattoos? Mm. I'm not going to have any, I'm gonna, I'm li- I'm I'm gonna, have any mean, face tattoos, though. By the end of so. next month, I'll have all this arm done and most of this I feel arm like and I need to lose. my shoulders done. I feel like I need to lose my two stone, though. For it to look good. No. Maybe it'll hide my cellulite. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just get a tattoo that says, this tattoo covers cellulite. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's a multiple of sins. (laughs) I just want the universe on me. The universe? Yeah. The planets in there? Yeah. The whole universe? Just like everything, just all like scattered around. Get on that one. And then the moon on no, that No, I one. don't want round because that looks ridiculous. Yeah, That'll like ruin shave my your boob. It will ruin my fucking tits. Come yeah. on, think about that Get for a minute. Get the whole moon there. No, I want like like scattered stuff. I don't want fucking like full, big, massive, like blocky things. I want things that are like all 
of like sexy and get, scattered. Get, get a bum tattooed on your tits and a tits tattooed on your bum. What? Why would that be good? It'd be funny, wouldn't it? Wouldn't I? I don't care about funny because I'm funny anyway. Well, don't need to. Don't need to have funny. I mean, stupid that's what tattoos. tits are, you know. Bum. I like to simulate the bum. That's you why just, women groom. I thought you just made that up. I haven't. I feel like you are. I haven't. I feel like you that's, make a lot of shit. Like anthropology. What? Because, because think about it. All of the like apes have sex from the behind. So why They're the don't only ones men, to do it missionary. So why don't men have fucking bum tits then? Because that's not because we would never present. Females present with the bum, don't they? Like chimps and that. Mm. But because we do it so that so the lips got bigger and red, so pre- and and then the tits became a bum, so it's like to give the same signals. Still feel like you've made that up. That's convincing <laughs> if I made that up though, isn't it? That's that sounds like you have it makes sense. No, I haven't. I'm not sure Where if I you have. You are, you actually <laughs> fucking honestly. I swear to God. It sounds right though, doesn't it? That's <laughs> that's how that sounds right though. Does it? It does sound right. You fucking that makes sense that. No. It does make sense. Your bum's like like it is to sit on. And to poo out. No, it's off. not because if you look like and the look woman, like a baboon or whatever. And the woman, they go, when they go on no. heat, it all goes like the bum goes the all red, and then the they woman, get bum like shed from behind. The woman's tits represents like birth, like child, no, like no, well, feeding like, a child. Like, chimpanzee, too, every other mammal just has nipples. Don't they? they don't have tits. They do because they feed the women do because they yeah, feed they have the nipples, child. but they don't have tits. Like a dog just has like six nipples, doesn't it? Doesn't have big tits on it. But they do when they're feeding. You they, don't. they come out. Have you not seen a dog when they've been feeding but their maybe puppies? Maybe they swell a little bit, but because they're full of milk. But they don't have big fucking massive yebs on them, do they? Well, mine aren't massive. Mine were flat before I paid for them. <laughs> you mean flat? Did you see them? But some women have big tits, is what I'm saying. Some women have a flat ass, don't they? Some women just, yeah. True. There you I go. don't know how my my people. Do you know people think that my ass is fake? Like I went round my mate's house to watch the. The England final game, right? And uh, I had my active wear on, and like loads of like Joe's family and that were like, "Have you had your ass done, Laurie?" I went, "No, mate. This is all paid for in Mackies." Oh, I can smash your Mackies now, you know. Like it literally, my ass. You know, people because well, back when I was younger, I've always had a big bum. Even when I was skinny, I've always had a big bum. And like back then, when I was a teenager, I used to hate it because big bums were not fashionable back then. Like, and I used to try and wear anything I could to try and hide my big bum. And now girls are paying fucking ten grand to have BBLs that look exactly like my bum. I don't remember. <laughs> it's I don't mad. remember when we first met, and like, we've been talking for a bit, haven't we? Yeah. And then we, I, I went and picked it up from a mate that's like not far away, and she come back to mine, and because we were going out. And then she jumped on me. I had sex <laughs> never jumped on you. We've, we've we spoke about this on the... This. Yeah, but some people won't have seen this she for the first... She had on. She was game as fuck. Right? <laughs> and we had sex in her. And I remember... I always remember the moment she stood up and, and then she walked to the bathroom after it and I'd just seen her ass and I was like... Oh, that's done all right nice. Here. Done all right here. Oh. You still shag someone else, didn't you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, never. No, never. He thought, we'll see if the grass is greener and we'll, I'll go on a couple more dates. And then uh, and then he got pissed one night. I thought he's been a bit quiet lately. Because we was only really speaking, weren't we? We was only like sort of see, testing the waters. And I thought, I know he's speaking to somebody else. I knew because women have that spider instinct. And I was okay about it. I thought, I, do you know I what? I deny all this. No, you don't. And I thought, do you know what? I thought... It is what it is, like you know. But I did send him a message, and I went, "Listen, I'll shop I went. I'm just off. gonna say, I understand you're busy. I'm very busy too. I said, just want to say, there's no pressure. I went, but you do know that we are gonna be in each other's lives now for the rest of our lives, even as mates, because we literally used to speak every day, we, and it wasn't forced, was it? Mm. We just couldn't help but speak to each other. And then I said to Katie, my mate, I went. Now watch. Three days went by and I didn't message him back after that message. And then three days later, he messaged me. And then he was like, are you all right? What are you up to? <laughs> and I went, oh, just thank you. Right on time. <laughs> you just like my fucking Yeah, well, no. 
yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's just psych. It's just psychology. Sauce manipulation. Psychology. I was being sound. You can't say I'm manipulation. I was being sound. I was giving you the option. And then he got pissed one night, and he rang me up, and he went, and he was having a heart to heart with me, as he does when he's pissed. Like, these are, this is very early days, people. This, we wasn't together at this point. And he went, he went. I just want to ask you something. He went. Are you speaking to anyone else? I went, no, you know, not since I've met you. All right. He went, oh. And I thought, he's going to he's gonna confess. I can hear it in confess. his voice. I can hear it in his voice. I swear. I'm, it's weird because I didn't know you, but I knew you so well so early. It's weird. And he went, I need to confess. I, like, Didn't say confess. No, no. I need to tell you something. And I went, go on then. He went, oh. You honestly haven't been speaking to anyone. I went, no. Nah. He went, okay, right. I'm going to tell you something now. He, w- he went, I went on a date after you and I had sex with her. And he went, and do you know what? I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> Why didn't he do that? I was crying. <laughs> no, he went, you went, I'm never going to do it again. I'm never, because I, f- I thought I was being the, the boy and that. I thought I was, I'd shag around and that. He says, and I just, it's just not me. He says, it's just not me. It's not who I am. <laughs> and he went, and I'll, I'll keep trying to push you away. And he says, and I'm not going to do it anymore. Oh. And then I went, thank you for being honest. I mean, I appreciate that. I, I didn't need to just go, thank you for being honest. I appreciate that. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you little rat. No, because I understood, because I understood his situation because before Paul met me, he'd separated from his wife and he's, he's someone who'd been, he'd been with someone for a long time. Mm. So I understand he just needed to feel his way. And I thought, I'm, I'm one of them, like, I'll just take it, you know, if it's not meant for me, then it's not meant for me. I'm not going to force anything because I'm not a beg. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not a beg. I don't need somebody to fulfil my life or to make me happy. So I just thought, if it was, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And it was. Oh. It's good tactics, girls. Yeah, so basically what you're saying is, use psychological manipulation <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to get your man. Yeah, but not like in a fucked up nasty way, though. Just to, uh, you know, because if you try and cling on to something too much, mm. right? Like, it's bad if you just let people be who they want to be and make their own decisions. And if they come back, if they come to you, then. Have you still got that, right that FaceTime video? What have you, yeah, of course they have. Oh, yeah. Paul told me he loved me for the first time when he was in Amsterdam. And weirdly, I was I was screen recording it because he was pissed as a fart, fucked out of his head on a rickshaw in fucking <laughs> Amsterdam, right? Really? And I was, because he was smashed, I was screen recording it. But you can't hear, when you screen record, you can't hear, like, what they're saying. But then, out of the blue, which I didn't know he was going to say, he was, like, being, oh, he had all this lovely look in his eyes and he was having a great time. And then he just went, I love you, you know, I love you. He says, I keep thinking I'm single and that, but I'm not, am I? Well, I'm not single, I'm with you. And he went, I love you. And I caught it on camera and I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> so that is proof. Because you always say... That no, but we, we, we have established that you said it first. Hey? We've, we've been when? through this. We've been through this. Sorry, but when? We've been through it. Sorry, but when? You said it in what on WhatsApp first. No, I didn't say I love you I'll, properly. Oh, my God. Don't Go on me. then, find it then. I can't. I'm not gonna find it now. But for the next episode, I'm gonna make you look stupid for that. Huh? We've already had this before, and you looked after, and you admitted you. I you don't wrong. remember. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. I don't remember this conversation. Everyone's telling me to drink. She can't handle it. Paul sh- can sink them like. What? Paul can sink them. Oh, what the fuck is that? I think a moth's trying to get in. Get lost. I can't deal with moths. Do you know what? One, no, no, no. That's that horrible. I'm sorry. Wait there. You're going to let it in. <gasps> oh, it's Oh, my God. It's a bird. It's two of them. It's that? a fucking a bird. Oh, yeah. Shit, that's oh, a bad bird. I can't cope. I can't cope. Paul, you're going to have to get it. <laughs> no. Why do I have to get it? <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. That's the biggest moth oh I've ever God. seen. Oh, my oh God. God. It's a fucking bird. Oh, Wait my there. God. This. Oh, that's my God. Bizarre. Oh my god! <laughs> get myself to get it with. I'm not picking that up with my hands. That'll get me in a fucking headlock. That. Oh, that's that's that from is... this country, that. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> get me some. 
<laughs> go and get me a glass. Oh, God, go. No. That is horrible. Get it, Pablo. You're a tit head. <laughs> Mate, you should see this fucking mop. It's so big, you know. I'm going to have to leg it in a minute. It's like a fucking sparrow, mate. With what? With this. Hang on. Oh, my God. What is it? Before I start Rick. legging it. Quick. Oh. oh, okay. That is absolutely awful. Let me see. There. Oh, no, that's... No. Oh. Look at that. Hang on. Oh, my God. God, that? it's a fucking bird. That That's is the worst that. thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my Mate. god! I'm keeping it. It's got him. muscles. <laughs> it's got to be an unstead, though. That is awful. I've never seen nothing like that in, in this show, in my life. Show the camera. Look at it. Welcome to what's the story <laughs> for me? <laughs> oh you my in the back god. Garden. Hey, you can stay there. Make sure you don't knock that. <laughs> Make sure you don't knock him off. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. You're mad. Trying to push the glass over. Oh, my God. Lives in the background. Look at me standing on the... Oh, I thought you knocked him off. me that that's the worst thing i've ever seen it's <laughs> for the purpose of the audible people <laughs> a fucking bird moth has just flown into Wait, we, if you want to we room. have to put a picture of that on instagram oh look at him wait i swear to god that is tropical <laughs> that's not from this country that is, that's some cult oh. that's fucking mate if you ate that oh. you'd start another pandemic <laughs> Well, Jesus Christ. That has ruined <laughs> my life. Look at him, he's staring at us. He's literally staring at us. His eyes are bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Davey, I'll show him off, mate. Oh, my God. I reckon that would feed a fucking tribe. It's... I don't even want to let him go outside. Is he oh fucking going back? God. Do you know that's my worst nightmare, you know, he's a moth, a flappy moth. I you, can't you know what's the man? You could just hear him going brrr, trying to I get thought, through the blinds. I thought, is that rain? <laughs> I thought it was rain. Fucking thunder and lightning. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right. No, I'm felt sweating. Like I, I felt like I was a man there and got that. Well done. Oh. Well done. Oh my god, I'd have been thrown If that camera went on, I'd have been like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care. You know, I always remember, right? Fucking, I'm shit with spiders, me, right? But I always remember being on stage. Oh, it's flapping. I always remember being on stage in hot water. Oh god. I'm fucking. Yeah, and I, I, everyone just stopped laughing, right? And sp I was like halfway through me talking, I was like, what the fuck's happened? And a spider had just come down, like, next to oh, me, off the ceiling. That's lucky that. that big. Lucky that. And it, I'm bad at spiders though, and for some reason, just because I was on stage and what the fuck happened, I just went, just broke the web with my finger, oh my and, and then just got it on my hand, and I was like, what? and then the front row was like, and I was like, ooh, and then I got off the stage, walked walked through to the back, and as soon as I did, I just went like me, me arachnophobia kicked back, and I went, ooh, <laughs> 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 so weird. You can hear it was just flapping then, and you can hear it flapping in the glass. Should I get, should I, should I, should I get rid of it? Oh my god, just like leave a, I feel like he's a present. He's staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel his eyes. What should we call him? Marmaduke. Oh, that's what my childhood bear used to be called, Marmaduke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a little monkey. Ma I had Marmaduke, uh, which was a monkey. Yeah. Monkey Teddy. And I had Clarence, who was a German um, lion. A my dad got. was he German? He was from Germany. Oh, fair enough. Why was he German? I just thought you'd made him German. Eins, zwei, drei. <laughs> ich bin Lion! Rawr! <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> E.T. Moff, I do believe in aliens now. It, it's that's literally a- going like this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me, out, <laughs> let me out, lad. Let me fucking out. It's like I really that, want to put the camera like for that. Starship Troopers. It's if you could see what he's doing right now, he's he's staring me out. Look at it. Look. Look at him. Look at him staring at me. Oh my god, that's the scariest thing. I have never seen anything like that in my life. I haven't even seen one like that in abro- abroad. No, I'm uh, me. <gasps> oh, yeah. you could you could eat that for. He's very distracting. No, please don't leg him. Please no, don't. Out the back window. Nah, just leave him. Leave him there forever. He lives there oh, now. Does I he? just can't cope. I can't. I can't. I feel like back. he's gonna kill us in the night. I gave him to Jack. No, he Jack won't get. Him. No, he won't because he'll get fucking allergic again because he's a pussy. <laughs> he had a bee and he fucking nearly died. <laughs> yeah, let wait for him to stop. Paul's trying to take a picture. No, Honestly, it's, it's freaked me. Oh, I feel like I got him in my pants He's now. Doing the podcast. And oh my god, he flew in like a bird. We're still live. Hi everyone. What are we live? Well, we're still live on the podcast. Oh. Keep talking. Sam. I am sweating from my face, my tits, my ass, and my fanny. It's so bad. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> Dad's laughing his head off. <laughs> That's one of the best reactions I've seen. Oh my god, I can't. We would only fly in on our fucking podcast, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> James, but what the fuck, man? That would eat Pablo. It would. It would eat Pablo. I can't though. believe you were trying to get Pablo to eat him. I know nah, Pablo would do him. <laughs> and welcome to our first guest <laughs> 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 of what's the story, Paul and Laurie. <laughs> He's got nice wings though. He's white. He's like an albino moth. He's like white. I think he should be an, imagine it, mate. What if he's like a rare one? A rare one. He must be because I've never seen nothing like that. That's like winning the lottery, yeah. having one of them come through yeah, your like window. Like that episode of Only Feels and Awesome. He likes that. Trying to catch the butterfly. He likes that light. Mm. That's the only downside. I reckon he needs his open. own room. We <laughs> should just leave him in here. <laughs> He's quite beautiful though for a moth. No, he's, he's scary as fuck. He looks like an alien. Yeah, he's still. beautiful when he's behind that. Yeah, fuck me when he's fucking flying down the room. You don't want to fucking be in there. Honestly, it sounded like rain, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's killed me. That has. <laughs> Everyone seen my like my leg, my, my legs and my bum. Then I was <laughs> my ass was out. Oh, I pitch you go. It's such a brummy thing, when You know, when we're stressed or arguing, you always go high pitch. But then you Scousers, do that. I go high you do that as well. I go high pitch all the time. Sky like, when I'm excited. Is it? Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. There was, there was a time, there's a few times on the podcast where you've disagreed with me about something and you've gone dead high pitch. I fucking haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have. What? And it's a, it's a brummy thing. My, my, have you noticed my mum? Does the same thing, and my auntie Kai. Mm. Hello, like, oh my god, what are you doing that for? <laughs> Leah does so it like. does she? Mm. Yeah, it's a it's a common family trait. We were um, we we done a little live before this, just <sighs> like let people know that we were going live, mm. like a pre live live, um, and mm. and her daughter jumped on. Ronnie's been getting our Leah pissed. <laughs> Such a good granddad. <laughs> I think that is a good granddad. When the mum's away. Well, this is what my, me and my dad used to do it, right? I'm just flapping around again. Me and my dad used to wait for my mum to go to uni. For She used to go to Bristol Uni once, like, for a week, once a month. And me and my dad used to pray for that fucking week when my mum used to go away. Because as soon as she drove off that drive, he used to go, right, Laws. Get your mates around, we'll have a party. <laughs> 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 and we used to have some very, very, like, and Dad was the worst. Like, we used to, I used to have all his mates around. I used to have all my mates around. I was 16. I used to, my dad, everyone used to be like, oh, your dad's so cool. And we used to be like, yeah. 
And then when it comes to the last day of the week when mum was due back the next day, we'd have a big clean up because we'd be smoking in the house and that. That was terrible. And then mum would come in and she'd be like that. I, c- I see a fleck of ash in the corner there. She's like a fucking detective mum. Yeah. So now he's doing this with his grandkids. Good guy. Wa- I think that's a good granddad. He's waiting till I leave. Till he gets me daughter pissed. <laughs> she was. She was. Ag- she was lady as so. well. She always is. L- she's been a. She's been a bit tipsy before, hasn't she? At yeah. Our engagement the meal that we had. Oh, when, when I gave pissed. her whiskey. <laughs> and when you gave a whiskey, <laughs> so you're no, no, you're. I'm a good you're dad, no mate. Better, are you? Are a good dad. <laughs> I'd just rather she done it with us. Yeah, true. And go and fucking do it in the park. Well, that's what my dad's kind of uh, analogy was. Yeah. I feel like if she come to me and went, I really want to try weed. Heroin. I go <laughs> all right, and I'd give her some weed. And yeah. I'd smoke I, with her. I wouldn't like her to have weed. No, but if she was going to do it, if she's, she's going to do it, it, she's going to do she's it, gonna do it, do it, she's gonna and she's doing it. I know, I know, I know. It's hard for a mum, though, I think. I know it is. That I think it's easier for a dad, but like, it's hard as a. I'm so a I, cor- just get with I her. am a sound mum, right? I'm pretty laid back, you know. But I like, it's hard because you don't want to give them that voice, do you know what I mean? Where you're like, yeah, like, yeah, I have this, and then they like it, and then it's like, so it's hard to sort of, it's a risk. Yeah, but I think if they're going to do it. I know, like I know what he's saying. Get. My dad had the same thing with me and it worked. Do you mm. know what I mean? He said to me when I was 16, he went, listen, you're going to do this. If you haven't already, you probably have. He went, but he said, I'd rather you tell me, I'd rather you do it with me. Mm. And he went, and then he went, he, and he, the best thing he ever said, he went, I trust you to be responsible. You know, I trust you. And I was like, wow, I don't need to rebel anymore. I mean, I don't need to rebel anymore. And you rebel to... by not doing drugs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I rebelled by not drinking. Like, I fucking didn't drink till I was 24. Yeah. And then I still, I'm still a pussy drinker, mm. you know, which I'm glad As we've about. seen in the chat. Which I'm glad about. Sounds like a boss dad, granddad he is, to be fair. He is he a is. good, he's a good dad slash granddad. He is, he's a fun granddad. A good father figure. But you wouldn't want to fall out with him. <laughs> just a good dad isn't he's it? the worst person to fall out with he's a scary man but he's a lovely man but he's a scary man if he's got a bee in his bonnet <coughs> it's not mm. nice to be around <laughs> but that's not very often no no he's a little teddy bear isn't he yeah he is he's a softer I'm getting some of that pink MDMA <laughs> don't you can't say what? you can't say that because then I'll have to explain why we know about that and I can't be a grass. I can explain. Um, Go on then. Lori met a woman. Had who a offered client. A Had a <laughs> she, well, yeah, she was doing a woman's eyebrows. And <laughs> w- while she was doing her eyebrows, this woman went, want, a bit of, want to try a bit of the pink stuff? And she was like, what's that? She went, it's MDMA and cocaine mixed together. She went, I've got a sample on me. Do you want some? A, do want, I'll do your little line. Now. <laughs> I was halfway through her fucking eyebrows. And she was like, nah. I was like, I don't think the next person will appreciate that very much. <laughs> and the live and I was like, head. yeah. And, uh, no, I love you so much. You're the best client I've ever had. Eyebrows and a heart shape. <laughs> then she was like, I booked her in for a top and she went, next time, you're having some. I was like, okay. <laughs> She's a scary woman, I'm not going to say no. Mm. <laughs> but she was funny though. <laughs> she was funny. But, I mean... You can't knock a person who's going to offer you a line. That I mean, that's sound, then. It's sound. Sound. That, that's a, a, out of the blue as well. It's a good guy, that. She is a good guy. Mm. She is. I think she thought I was going to be a knobhead. Well, she knows she class. She knew the podcast and that, so yeah. she probably knew. But I reckon she would have thought I was a knobhead if she, if she hadn't seen the podcast. Yeah. And then she, we did have a laugh, like, without any drugs. <laughs> Didn't need the aid of oh, any speaking drugs. Speaking of drugs, go on. Can't wait for that side behind me. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna do all of the drugs, me. Oh yeah. But can I just say? Except for Kesman, mm, okay. No, don't, don't uh, take any any powder off anyone, because that's how they got me when I've had ketamine before by accident. Nah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with what I go with. Huh? Actually, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not. Just, no, just gas myself up. Just stick to like. I will not take any drugs. No. Close to my balls into that. 
Just let me in for fuck's sake. If you're a dog, if you're don't grass me up. I feel like you're digging a hole there. I am, yeah. I've just realised. I cut the, I cut this bit out. <laughs> you're gonna get strip searched. And then the people are gonna be having memes yeah, of so you bollock f- naked. Yeah, getting fingered. Getting fingered up the bum. Yeah. Oh. I, I'm higher. Am higher. I allowed to wank sure. while you do this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! What would that? What would he start doing? What do you reckon he'd do if he were cavity search and you just start wanking yourself up? They'd probably stop, which is a good <laughs> tactic. He <laughs> starts. Oh, oh, they bet. didn't finger me good they enough. They're, they're in there. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you probably wouldn't be there. in there. I put them up there. Just keep going. There's, lot, there's a bar of key of cocaine in there. Oh my God! You probably wouldn't be let in because you'd be Nancy, wouldn't you? You'd think you was a nonce. Not Nancy. Just a weirdo, though. Fabulous. Mm. Dumb sign with my kids at old school. Yes. And did you know what? Right. What I will say is that, so my dad, like, my dad had me when he was 20. My dad was a bit of a boy back in the day. He's gone legit now. <laughs> but. I've gone straight. So I've been around it. I've been around the dodgy dealings. And, um. So he was dead like open. We used to go raving together, me and my dad, you know. Um, and then when my little brother come along, he's 22, so he's 13, 14 years younger than me. Like, dad was like, because he was older when Jack was a teenager, when we grew up to be a teenager. And then dad was being all like strict on him and all that. And Jack was going through the experiencing of trying drugs and stuff like that. And then not telling my dad because he never had that close relationship mm. that trust with my dad to be able to be open with him whereas i did and i said to dad one day i went listen i went you're doing it wrong i went you need to you need to treat jack how you treated me and i said and then he'll be more open to you about what he's doing and uh, he'll feel more comfortable if he has had anything he'll come back to home and he'll be like more open and he'll feel safe to know that you're not gonna have a go at him or whatever and then um so he was like, do you know what, Laura, you're right. And he did, and then they became closer then. And then Jack, he spoke to Jack, and he was honest with Jack about it because he tried to pretend mm. that he was all this, like, you know, goody-goody two-shoes. Mm. But, you know, he wasn't. So yeah. he was honest with him then. Money loves a bit of Mandy. Yeah, yeah. And I need to go to the toilet. Oh, I do. I'm gagging. Fucking thing is scaring the shit out of me. Um. I need to go to the toilet. I'm sorry. I don't normally. Fuck off. What's your no, I'm not taking it with me. Imagine. I know this is really interrupted podcast show. Hey. Joke show. If we get up to 6,500 subscribers while she's in the toilet, As I if w- that's going to happen. I'll go and throw this moth in the toilet and shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not going to happen. That's That needs to be 40 subscribers. That's not going to happen. Is you a shit house? <laughs> You're a fucking shit house. You I'll throw my poo at you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't reckon you would. You wouldn't be able to get out the room. I'll fucking... You'd be like, ah, trying to throw shit in a moth. Are you having a poo? Nah. Hello, my missus message. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Laurie Show. <laughs> I do need a wee bath. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Yes. Yikes. Uh, I'm going to sit here for a minute. Oh, fuck me. Hang on, let me. Go on, I'm fucking Marmaduke's getting on. How are you, Marms? Mate, he's a fucking muscle head, him. What do they eat, moths? Fucking mazzy, look. You haven't seen this moths are fucking flinging about. Fucking alien. Be very careful with that bad boy. Move them so you can see him. Everyone's making new YouTube accounts. I'll keep I'll keep refreshing. <laughs> Mate, do you know when you think like this this party that goes, this would be dead funny. But then there's another party that goes, it's just not worth the absolute grief I would get for the rest of, I, I mean, at least a month. 
if not the rest of my life. And she'd fucking punch me dead off. Mate, I know. Fucking more bobbly than, than them Pat and Neville joggers, mate. It's fucking just staring at me now. It's proper eyeballing me, son. Hey, look at that. Who's here if I just start having a fuck? It's like that thing that fights Godzilla, you know? Godzilla! He's 100% on growth, that moth, like. On moth steroids. I can't, I've never seen nothing like that in this country un unless it's been. I'm going to tell that to the museum, you know. Neo says moths eat grain products such as flour, cereal, cornmeal, rice, and nuts, but they will also infest bird seed, pet food, dry pasta, and dry fruit. Uh, Neo is very knowledgeable. It's interesting, that means. Definitely come come up with you when you let it out. I know. What I'm gonna have to do is go in the garden or out the wind and just like you know when you do that where you like get the thing on the bottom and you just go and just throw it with enough force that it goes that way and then shut the door, shut all the windows, and just hope it forgets. <laughs> <laughs> hope it doesn't have beef at me tomorrow. I reckon it's gonna be waiting outside in the morning. Just sat on my car, just sat on the wind when we're in my car. Go and come at me, then you little dickhead. You're not driving nowhere. <laughs> Keeping them feed it steaks. Yeah, see how big we can get it. Can you imagine that? I feel like a guard moth. Fuck the dog off and just have a guard moth. I reckon that'd be well more effective, you know. Because you think about it, my dog's a big dog, right? But there'd be some people in the world who was just good with dogs who would just come in because he's a soft cunt, and they'd just go oh, and they'd just deal with it. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like if you fucking walked in a gaff and there was a fucking ten came off. Just there, just like, what? Just come and try and get this celly, but I'm going to flap around, you know, like, bop, 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 bop. no fucking burglar is going for that, I don't think. No burglar on the planet. They're just not. There's no way you'd do it. It's more effective than a sword. I feel pissed, me now. Simba with it in the garden. Samba. Samba. Is your name? Johnny Boy's Chop Shop. Don't let it don't let it out. It'll have the wheels off your camper van. I know. I can it just tear the roof off your gaff, you know. I reckon that's open the window and got in on its own, you know. Big. Might give it some C B D. Ooh. I can it happen if you just got it stoned. It's mean that uh, it's not gonna do that. Or is it? Maybe it'll open its mind creatively. Watch you don't knock that with your Oh, it's flew out your day, you know, it ate you. <laughs> it does hate me. <laughs> Mama Duke does not like you at all. I had stage fright. What couldn't you be? No. Shut up. I could hear you talking. I was like, I've got to be there any minute. I've got to be there any minute. You know? Oh, that's good. It won't come I out. never get that. I had to push it out. Like oh, did you get it out and in? Yeah. Did you play with the same time? No. No. Pressure. I had to have a pressure with. Like, I had to go. Oh, my God. Push you know, it out. I had it. For some reason, right? I've hit an age. I don't know if this is. Uh, some people are going to share this. I'm nearly 40, right? So. 40 in about, what, nine months? Yeah. Nine months' time. And I've hit an age where I can't have a piss now without, I have a wee, and then fi I'm done with the wee. I pull my pants up, go to walk away, oh. and everybody goes, you still need a wee. <laughs> and I need another wee. A full wee, though. Yeah, but I, I think I'm like that as well. Have a wee and That's I never happened to me before. I need a wee about five minutes later. And also... Every so often, like one in five weeks, and it's always when I'm in work. Do you know what I've had to start doing? Sitting down for a wee in work. <laughs> you only you normally do that. Because I normally that. need a wee before I go on stage. 
And it's a gamble because sometimes my dick just turns into a sprinkler. <laughs> Do you have pissy pants? Proper, I got proper sprinkler dick. Do you have pissy Somet- pants? No, it's happened once. I get a sprinkler. And I'm like, I can't afford for that to happen because like, I'm on stage in two minutes. There's not even any time to dry them. So I have to sit down and have a wee. I get a sprinkly fanny sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed to get pissy pants sometimes, but I like very small amounts. No, but like when you start wearing it, goes shh all over the place. You mean? Yeah, sometimes, and this is the girls will vouch me for this, and it's not just me, so don't even fucking try and sat, sit there on your throne saying, no, this doesn't happen to me. There's something wrong with you. But sometimes you have a wee, yeah, as a girl, and obviously all girls have to sit down when they have a wee. Mm. But sometimes you have a wee, and sometimes it likes to angle at your leg, doesn't it? The inside of your thigh. It doesn't shoot down. It shoots on the thigh. Is it warm? No, it's annoying because then you have to wipe your leg as well as your vagina. 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 <laughs> Sorry, vagina. Am I right? <laughs> I've never heard anyone speak about that before, ever. Mm. Groundbreaking it, stuff it, again on it, What's the Story, Paul and Laurie. It Lori. pisses me off. It's like, and you get a wet leg. The inside of your thigh. I think this is the important like, stuff people need to be speaking of. Yeah, because what the fuck? It's the same fucking vagina. It's the same piss hole. Why does it decide, actually, I want to go this way today? But that's better than the man one. Hmm? But sometimes I'll, but like, at least yours just hit your leg. Mine goes literally, mine will hit the wall and then the fucking really? toilet seat. Mate, it goes all over the gaff sometimes. That's flamboyant. Especially after you've had sex. Flamboyant After pissing. you've had sex. I, see, it's like, I don't understand the, me- the mechanics the of The mechanics of that. But some, like, it's dead hard to have a wee straight after you've had sex because yeah. your dick doesn't, like, your dick goes, hang on a minute, I need to switch. Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah. This cum is about to come out. That's or mad, that. Yeah. I didn't know the same thing happened to men. But uh, it looks, Megan said, 100% true. Helen says, yes. Goes, in, ha, ha, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah was, says, goes in two different directions. He always speaks what every woman is thinking. <laughs> yes, 100% true. <laughs> Why is that, though? You are the voice <laughs> of women. <laughs> I am. <laughs> but, like, you get a pissy you leg, don't you? And then you have to fucking wipe it. And it's just, it's just, you know, it's just <laughs> one of those very degrading moments mm-hmm. as a woman. Because, like, how, how to explain to me? I don't me. understand that, so I brought it up because I don't understand why your dick sometimes are just way normal and then sometimes it'll just go... <laughs> like, I, I had two, li- literally earlier on before that show, I had two wees coming out. Maybe, like, because like f- like like after like like sex. Do you say after sex? No, but, like, this is... No, that, sometimes after sex, but, like, just today. Uh. And then uh, you try and, like... Oh, my God, I need to know. a little bit to try and straighten it out and it just goes... Oh, I need to it's know. It's like when you put your thumb over the tap. Okay, do you reckon... Your piss hole is slightly closed, and that's why it's yeah, going out the other yeah. way. No, but you th- I thought you th- you would think that, but when you th- like try and pull it back a little bit, you think it'll open up, but it doesn't. If I you try know. to like go, oh, oh, open the open it a bit. No, <laughs> I don't know which bit the piss hole. It's the hole in it, the jap side. It's not. You can't say jap side. Why? It's racist. Why? We've discussed it. Sorry, yeah. Some fella said that when I was on stage yesterday because he'd been tattooed and he said I've had my Japside tattooed. <gasps> oh, it's I so mean, mad that. Tattooed, uh, Tell pissed. the people why it's racist because I feel like even though we I only found this out not long ago because apparently it's racist because the term comes because it looks like a Japanese, a Japanese person's eye. eye. And, uh, but I was for, I, when, I, when I found that out, right, up until literally about, it must have been less, like about two, three years ago, I <laughs> thought it was chapsai. <laughs> yeah, you was calling it chapsai. I thought it was chapsai. That would be the better I've version. I'm 36 <laughs> years of my life, or 37 years, thinking it was fucking chapsai. Because it's a chaps, really. It's chapsai. It's your chap. <laughs> oh, that's I cute. Know. Hello, my little chap. I know. It just, I, I never questioned it because it made sense in my head. <laughs> I just thought so when people were saying Japsai, you know, it was Japsai. Jack Dean saying Japsai before we spoke about how racist it was. But, you know, it's, it blows your mind, doesn't it? We've all been racist all this all this time by saying Japsai. No one knew why it was called Japsai, but now we know. Now you fucking know. You heard it here, you heard yeah. it first. 
What's the story, Paul and Laurie? You're all racist. <laughs> Breaking down barriers. <laughs> telling, telling truth bombs. Japso lives You matter. said Japso lives. Sorry, like... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. We have loads of Japanese people kicking off. They must know that it's culture. What's the reckon it's called in Japan? Um, Chinaman's eye. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, we're getting cancelled. <laughs> 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 oh god, thank fuck I'm not on Twitter. I I just don't nah. Who's on Twitter? Fucking hell. Fucking celebrities and knobheads. Politicians. I, I I I in the Venn diagram of celebrities and knobheads, I'm somewhere in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> I am never going to... Do you reckon Marmaduke? Chaps, eh? He's fucking pissed off with us now. Human. He's literally turned his back to us like he's like, yous are a pair of cunts. I was living my best life. I'm get you fucking stuffed. He flew from Germany. I'm going to get him stuffed and framed. I reckon we should put him in the podcast mm. studio. I don't reckon many animal activists would like that. You've just said that. You've just said that. Why? That's like worse than being racist. That. Oh, fuck off. He's an insect. You can't even eat insects it's now. God's creature. Ah, uh, mate. Vegans can eat insects, can't they? When did China no, they make... fucking can't. Why not? They can't. Vegans don't eat living things. Plants are living things. They don't. They don't eat anything with a heartbeat or anything that comes from anything it's from an a heartbeat. Got a heart. Of course, it has. You fucking wallow. I don't know if it has. You know. You stupid. It hasn't got a heart. Are you stupid? Insects don't have a heart. What do they have then? How do they pump the blood van the body? Invertebrate. What does that mean? They haven't got a heart. Right, ta- can Google it now. <laughs> <laughs> if you make me Google this and you're Google doing it, you can make me feel look stupid. I know that they have a heart. They haven't got a heart. Okay. That's the known how much insects. Bet, That's why they're called insects. Right, how much you want to bet then? It's Latin. Right, no then. heart. Do insects have... A heart. Ha! Insects do have hearts that pump hemolymph throughout their circulatory systems. The moths have hearts, though. Moths mm-hmm. aren't insects. Huh? What? Moths aren't insects. Yeah, they, there they fucking are. Yeah. What are they then? Arachnids. No, they're not. The fucking insect, you prick. <laughs> you look stupid. <laughs> Dissect him, Helen says, fucking hell. <laughs> Tell me that. I don't want to touch the cunt. I reckon he's going to haunt me in my fucking dreams. A moth has a mouth and Neo's a stomach. Neo's a fucking moth expert, you know. That he Which uses means... to ingest food. Hey, Neo, how do you nourish, know? Hang ne- on. And nourish himself, a brain and nervous system, and a heart along with a circular. For all the people system. who are watching after the fact, Neo's in the comments here. Yeah. N-I-O. They are an expert on moth and all things moth. You've been telling me about the moth diet. How do you know so much about moths, Neo? He just fucking Googled it. He says the same thing what I've just read. It's the same thing what I've just read. I I mean, how do you know it's a hit? He's copy and pasted it. He's copy and pasted it. It might be a she. Neo might be a she. Neo, no, it's a man. I, I think it's, it's a man because his, his icons, his Assassin's icons, Creed. Assassin's Creed, yeah. But you know, we're we're, ve- we're being very gender stereotypical there. He's angry. That moth is angry. That thing is angry. Shout out two dogs, La. Neo has bad moths in his country. I've been telling you. I've been copy pasting. No, sad. Are you a, are you a male or a female, Neo? He's a male. Oh, Neo. Was it Neo's N-E- Neo? But Neo's Neo in the Matrix. Mm-hmm. Neo. Okay. Do you want to think of Force Book of the Day? Ooh, think about so it, right? Sorry, I just. You, have you watched the Matrix? No. Yeah, I have. Sorry, sorry. So Neo in the Matrix. Yeah. Is the one. The one of what? Yes, that's what he is in the Matrix. What is it? It's the one like the anomaly. The what? The one. The one for what? I don't think you've watched The Matrix, have you? I have, but I haven't watched it properly. Such a what's good film. The, what's the one of? 
Is the in the matrix? There's a one like an anomaly who can like control the matrix. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I get And you. Neo's the one. Oh, he's the one. I think Neo is an anagram of one. Okay, Neo. N E O O N E. Yeah, but that's N I O. No, but that's it, that's not spelled the same. In the film, it's N E O. Ani. Are you pissed off? Half a glass <laughs> of wine. <laughs> no, really though. That must freak me out. The moths freak me You're out. You're smashed. I'm not. <laughs> right, so. Corey, I think that's how you say it. Wet, no, hang on. When you get in the bookies on the podcast. Um, the one from in between us. Yeah, we can. We can. No, he doesn't know who we are. Well, he doesn't know who I am. I reckon he does. I know that he doesn't. How do you know that? Because I went onto his Twitch stream and commented. If anyone doesn't know, Jay... I mean, sorry, the Buckley's uh, is Jay from Jay from um, in between us. Jay from in between us. I went on a Twitch stream when I was starting to Twitch, and mm. but he will not. He'd be aware of my existence now, mm. but he doesn't watch me stand up, and no, he doesn't watch me stand up because I went on to his Twitch stream and said, "Love you, Twitch stream." Um, because I, I mean, doesn't know who you are. Listen to me. I was trying to blag him to riot me or like to yeah. send some people over to me Twitch channel because I only just started. This is when I started Twitch. And he yeah, said, Paul Smith Comedy, ago. and other people were going, oh, wow, Paul Smith Comedy's, yeah. That's boss, love your stuff and all that. And he was like, oh. And he said, uh, I'll be honest with you, sorry for me, Glenn, but I do not watch stand-up. Yeah, but he might know our fuss from our podcast. He, he does What it is, Jay, or James, but I think it's James, isn't it? James yeah. Buckley. He does a podcast or a vlog with his missy, with his wife. And it's very popular. But you just never know who's watching. Yeah. You never know who well, knows. Maybe, but I know he doesn't follow us on any social media. I love no, he's not going to follow, is he? You know what I, mean? I don't follow well, him. How would he but follow I know about then? him. Huh? He Anyone knows him? He might have heard of us. Get on him. Well, he will. He will fucking hear, hear about us. I think that would be good if we got other couples on. Yeah, well, that's what we said before, didn't we? We're going to put some... Um, oh, shit. Gonna get some, um, gonna get some couples on. Definitely, I think. Definitely. Oh yeah, multi skill builders coming in, fucking backing me up on the old invertebrate thing. And I was just fucking blagging. What? Pretty sure invertebrates, insects, have totally different body biological organs to mammals, reptiles, fish, amphibians, and birds. Yeah, but they've still got a heart. I don't know that. You know. It's it, we fuck. Neo copy no Neo copy and pasted works, yeah. Neo has copy and pasted shit from Google. That's not wrong. I mean, I think it's from Wikipedia, which can be edited by anyone, so it's not reliable. Can it? Yeah, I edit Freddie Quinn's I Wikipedia need, all the time. I need to itch my nose. You're smashed, you. I had hey we, we, so, so what if anyone I'm fucking so what I'm allowed to be fucking oh, no. smashed don't shush me stop getting aggy because you're pissed no um, I hate do you know what I hate when you do this because you make me not want to drink again I mean you don't drink anymore. I'm fine when I have a drink don't fucking make me be I, out I'm to be a nightmare because oh, I'm saying I did the album left fuck off lying um yeah, we, we always go on and edit Gaslighter. we see how we edit Freddie Quinn's Wikipedia page and see how long it takes him to notice Oh, really? Yeah. What do you put on it? Like, He's a nonce. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did, no, it's got to be well more subtle than that. Oh, okay. Like, like, yeah, the, his quotes from The Skinny, the magazine The Skinny. Mm. So I changed it to The Not Skinny. <laughs> 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 so subtle. It was there for about nine months. <laughs> That's bad that you can change yeah, the fucking Wikipedia. Wikipedia. I want a Wikipedia. Why it? can't anyone? Why haven't I got Make yourself one? up. Yeah. What would you say about me on Wikipedia? Brow artist oh. slash comedian. No. Remember what Americans said? Oh, yeah. Comedy queen of the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, no. You could do your I haven't got a Wikipedia. Haven't you? Yeah. Huh? Should we do yours? Oh, now Evan, someone's going to make me a horrible Wikipedia, aren't they? Everyone might pull a Wikipedia. How do we do that? I never knew this. Yeah. Fucking hell, I've been sitting on this information. It's a crowd. It's a crowd. It's a, it's a 
Because no one makes Wikipedia. Everyone makes Wikipedia. Oh, itchy eye bad. And then it's like edited and edited by everyone. People who you, you're only meant to do it if you know what you're talking about, though. It's like a trust thing, innit? But yeah. like, obviously, people take the piss with it. Okay. So it's not unreliable. That's, so when why, that's why when you're in uni, they say don't fucking just go on Wikipedia and go, like Wikipedia stuff because it's not reliable information. Yeah, Ed Sheeran says don't believe the stuff that you hear on Wikipedia. Yeah. That you read on Wikipedia. Mm. Or does he say do? Does he say don't or do? He probably says don't now. That's our name. Um, you weird. need me, man. I don't song. need you. Advert. Fucking. You need me, man. I don't need you. And I said, you need me. Love that song. There's a really good line in that song that says, I'm up and coming like I'm fucking in, in an elevator. Fucking good, that, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up and coming like I'm fucking in an elevator. Pretty. Fuck off. Why? I said you were pretty. No, because you're just you fucking patronising me. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I might be pretty, but I'm not stupid. Neo says, ha. Yeah, I think I'm the only one here not from near yous. Where, Where are you from, from? Neil? I feel like we need to, because cl- obviously I keep forgetting that people can't see the comments in like when you watch after the fact. So Neo's in the comments, um, N-I-O on YouTube. And they are being very <laughs> Jody Cook says, Paul, stop smoking s- too much weed. <laughs> I don't even smoke any weed. <laughs> Drug, eh? <laughs> A fucking plants from the earth, God made it. Uh, <laughs> Laura, your sound. Thanks, Claire. Love you. Love you, Claire. Who's Claire? Claire Kelly. Fucking you, Claire. Claire. This one, Rob was having beef with her. Yeah. Keep flirting. Not that beef. He wasn't having beef. Was he flirting with her? How was he? I don't know. I feel like we missed loads. Yeah, I feel like we missed. Neo is short for Antonio. Ooh. Oh, I got a friend called Antonio. Never called. Lovely, isn't it? Neo, t- Neo, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah. Are you from Italy? We love a bit of are Italy. Are you my that Antonio? Way? You're not my Antonio, I'm are you? fucking your Antonio. No, he's guy. He's a big black guy, man. <laughs> he's He's actually funny. He's actually done stand-up as well. Has he? Yeah. He's good. He's so he's so funny. Get on, not Antonio. even joking. Actually, yeah. I'm trying to get him on my hen do, in my Birmingham hen do. He said he wants to come. So? He's actually so funny. He's got a wicked TikTok page. I don't know what his TikTok is for you to see, but love mm. you too, kids. Ah, that's nice, isn't it? I want, I want, I want to know if it's your Antonio or no. I don't think it is. I, c- I think I'd tell. He'd say, mm, he "Yeah, he'd have messaged and said, he'd listen to me.' Yeah, he would have, because he's been on before this Neo. What are you looking at?" Don't look at things up while we're alive Sorry. on the fucking I just, and <laughs> WhatsApp. I just noticed, no, Danny Mac had messaged me saying I'm being a fool. I think he was trying to get on the live and he's... Oh. That was an hour and a half live? ago. Hour and a half ago, so. Oh, well, on the other live. Mm. Has it been an hour and a half now? I think it has. Yeah. I'm sweating from every part of my body. Yeah. Yeah, he's clean. Like, look, feel my face. Oh, you got proper cleavage sweat I there. <laughs> Don't say... Smell. It's it's not sweet. You got, you got a nice. Sweet. I've got a nice bodily sweat, haven't I? Mm, sweet. I do enjoy. <laughs> my ass is so wet I mean, I don't right know now. If I'd get, I'll put my fingers down there and have a little. Really? Mm. Well, you want me to Why finger not? your bum and sniff it? Yeah. 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 You don't finger me enough. I've told you this. <laughs> <laughs> The demi- there's a demise in fingering in the UK. No way it is. Because when the finger... Yeah, that was very Mickey Flanagan then. Grab me, I stole yeah, it. I stole that's why that. I stole that. away from it before we got fucked. <laughs> Comedy police came I and do got us. Love, I do love Mickey Flanagan. I'm not going to lie. I really want to meet Mickey Flanagan. <sighs> love to be like his tour support. <laughs> I am double busy. That you can't do that on someone's tour support. Just go I'm and do joking. their best bits. I know. I'm joking. Fuck. You do that. We're on our podcast, do what we like. <laughs> he doesn't watch it, does he? He might do. He never no, knows. He watching. doesn't. He doesn't. And your Mickey Flanagan was a big fan. Oh my I'm god! I cream in my pants. <laughs> I swear to God. Stop making Mickey Flanagan. I than love me. Mickey Flanagan. Though I'm sorry, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
the whole chat is going to be like, he's from Malaysia. Why are you from Malaysia? <laughs> What's your number one pet peeve with each other? Is this Phil Reed, comedian Phil Reed, who looks exactly like me? Hmm? Mate. Phil Reed's my stunt double, mate. Is he? Yeah, there's a comedian is he called a cock Phil double, Reed. Though? No. Has he got a boomerang dick? No. I don't know. I've never seen no. his dick, but I mean, it'd be weird if he did, though. Imagine. But it went the other way. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yin and Yang. Is it yin? Yin and Yang. Yin and Yang. Okay. Um, biggest pet peeve is that... Pff, I don't know. We've had this before, haven't we? But probably that you're always late. Or that you steal me stuff. Or that you won't make a coffee. Or that you won't cook. Or cook. 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 Or... I don't even say cook. I don't know right. The fact that Will I don't cook, cook right? Hang you on. can't oh, say that's I'm a pet finished. peeve. Shh, I'm finished. Because I told you from day one, I I'm, don't cook. I don't think you did. That's not, that wasn't the first. But I made but a mean fucking... Anyway, um, I haven't finished. You don't cook. Um, you are very disorganised. So are you, you prick. But I know. Well then. This is my pet peeve with you. Yeah, so why well, a lot you of my pet peeves. I don't have that as a, a pet peeve A lot of my pet peeves are projection, you see. So we don't like it about myself. Sort your own issues out, mate. I'm fine. Trying, aren't I? Don't some you self-help dare books. give me pet peeves. That is your problem. I can have whatever pet peeves mate, I want to have. You've got honestly. You don't know where. You don't know which side your bread's buttered. I swear to God, you're a cheeky prick. You've got it good. You <laughs> know. Sounds like Gary Palmer. You've, you've got it good. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you cheeky prick. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> fucking cunts. Them foxes. <laughs> I can't even do it. What, what's a proper fucking, what's a joke? <laughs> uh, that's all I, uh, I mean, other than that. That's I mean, all. That's 99% all. 99% of it is good. But then you got those little. You just reeled up about 10 things that you hate about me. I don't hate them. Peeve. Peeves. Peeves are cute, aren't I they? haven't got many things peeves of you. I'm you. A fucking delight, that's why. You're not there, I'm are a you? delight. You're not. I'm a delight. You're not. What, what's wrong with me? No, but I just accept all your peeves. No, what you've got. Because I'm a delight. You're trying to think. No, and you're, you're trying to think. Okay. You're trying to think. So, and what, you can't so explain to me that I'm you're. A delight. So, do you think I'm not a delight? You're the delight in set, but like you're annoying as well. And you're not. Why am I annoying? If I remember. Oh rightly, my God. You've if had I a remember nightmare. rightly, I have another nightmare. Oh. Paul, I got multiple messages saying she's a winner. Uh, she's a winner. Don't ever no, let that's her go. Not, that's not Don't ever I let her go. Don't ever well, let her I'm go. I'm correct. Yeah. So but why in are spite you of all the peeves. I love everything that's wrong about you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. I was looking at you with a straight is. face. There's nothing. I love like, everything that's wrong but about you. You can't. You can't. I love you. You can't legitimately. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. No, but I love everything that's wrong about you. You can't legitimately say things, nothing. I do ignore all you. All the yet. shit things that you hate or, or that are shit about you and what other women would have disregarded you for. I love about you. That's ridiculous. How? All the shit things I hate about you or what I hate about myself. No, because that's what other people hated me for. <laughs> all the other men that I used to be with, <laughs> and then you're just like them. How do you feel now? <laughs> Yeah, I feel How do you like, feel now? I feel like they're justified. <laughs> the late okay. thing is legitimate. I'm sorry. It's a legitimate that. sorry. It's a that's legit a legitimate that. thing. That's legit but that. I hate myself for it. <laughs> exactly. So, so therefore, yeah. that's legit. That's one thing. The lack of cooking. The, the fact that I don't you just like cooking. Point blank. I won't cook. I don't like exactly, it. I'll never do it. I don't like it. And the Fuck fact off. that you point blank refuse to make a coffee, yet make me make you a coffee every I day. I make good tea. I don't, I'm not a coffee maker. I don't, I don't work that contract. He's got a fucking spaceship of a coffee <laughs> machine downstairs. I'm not into that. That's not for me. You like the coffee I'm out of it I'm not a though. coffee snob. I'm not a coffee snob. I like a good coffee. No, I, make, I like your coffee, what you make, right? I'm not a coffee snob. I'd rather go and spend £3.50 at Costa. I'm not arse, right? Like, I make a good cup of tea. Paul makes a shit cup of tea. I make good cup of tea, Paul makes shit. So we compliment each other. So don't give me shit about not cooking. You like to cook, you're good at cooking, so you do that. I hate cooking, I'll never cook, I don't like it. And if I do, <laughs> then just be appreciative of it. Right? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I like to graft. I'm not a fucking housewife. And if you moan Hang about on, that, whoa. if you moan about that, then fuck you because yeah, you know what? You don't have to pay for me, do you? You don't have to fucking provide for me. I'll provide for myself. Are you finished? No. 
Hey, Emma. Fuck you. <laughs> In rebuttal, I graft too. I'm not yeah, a housewife. I'm not yeah, moaning I about you. you. You're moaning about me. You're but moaning about me. We got asked what our pet peeves were. And I said, none. That's a lie. No, I, honestly, I would not change you. And that's, I swear on my yeah, kids' but I must life. annoy you. Don't. This annoys you. You really don't. Do you know I appreciate everything about you and I would oh. never change anything because if I change something, it would I'm knock everything. I'm adding that to be honest. Though. It would never knock it would knock it would knock everything out of sort because perfect is not real, kids. Right? <laughs> perfect doesn't exist. So stop trying to perfect the person that you're with. Water your own fucking garden, right? Work on your own shit, what you've got going on, without thinking the grass is greener because it's not. So, you know, you're sitting there thinking, she don't fucking cook, she don't no, like I this, don't like this. Change no, fuck you. I wouldn't right. swap you for someone who did cook. It wasn't you. Nah. Do you know, well, why, why feel the need to bring up all the shit things? I just love it if you made me coffee. <laughs> no, because I did make you a coffee once. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> you could still be you and learn to make coffee. I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Why do I want to do stuff that I don't like to do? I don't like it. I'll provide for you in other ways. Just not coffee making. <laughs> I'll make you a good cup of tea. I'll make a nice piece of toast. I do make good toast. You can't deny that. And I make good I, beans I mean, on toast. It's, it's, it's average toast. Are you acting like this? Like the fucking do gold not standard? disrespect <laughs> me in that way. That's the worst thing you've ever said to me. It's just average normal toast. It's fucking warmies toast in a toaster. What are do you doing? What do you think you're doing? But it's That's making that toast, boss. Right. <laughs> it's the colour that I pop it on. Yeah. And it's the timing in which the butter is <laughs> spread on the be- bread. Right. And also, there is no scraping involved on that toast. Okay. None of this. It's a... It's a clean cut spread with no scrape. And then you let the butter just gently melt. <laughs> but not melt all the way because then that makes soggy toast. I really love you to open a toast restaurant, you know. Do you know what? That's a that's a shout. I honestly just I reckon toaster. it'd be award winning. Award winning yeah. though. Open a toast restaurant. I haven't got time because I'm too fucking busy. <laughs> I'm double fucking busy. I am double busy. I've got to sign on and get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saying I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Can't wait for toast in the morning. I, I know you got warbies as well, I, I noticed. Should we have some midnight toast? I call it midnight toast when it's late. It doesn't matter whether it's midnight or not. I just call it midnight I'm toast. I'm some toast. <gasps> you haven't got any honey, have you? Mm, a little bit. See, and I just tell people about, like, a hack for a cup of tea. Try a cup of tea Everyone's with fume oat milk. Up. With oat milk and honey. Mm. Everyone's going to feel about is. that now. I can you feel them. You called it. You, you were spot on today. You went, it's a hug in a mug. If ever you feel a little bit down, a little bit shit, Nice, have you know. oat milk tea with honey. Oh my god! I can it feel is people so going fuck off. Like there's, there'll be tea pure. That's so <gasps> right. Saying sorry, that. I just need to interrupt. Phil Reed said, "How do you cut your toast?" Triangle. It tastes. It tastes like a council estate if you cut it in rectangles. You need to cut it in a triangle, straight this, across. It's weird, it's isn't a, it? But that's. I mean, let's let's all be honest. It that's tastes, a Peter Cajo. I swear to God, I didn't know that was a Peter Cage. Right? I Triangle swear. Triangle sandwiches taste better. It's what literally the fuck? a dead, dead famous Peter Cage. Oh my God. I have, I swear on my I mean, children's not, not, lives. I just couldn't sit here and let us act like that was like a, a, right. a new discovery. I promise you, I have never heard that from I'm, Peter okay, Cage. Well, I, I just, I had to just put that out there. That is mad. Before I got caught. I am the comedy officially a me. comedy genius. Because <laughs> I thought that was just me. But he actually does, though. It does. That's why Peter Cray did very well. well with why it. is that? <laughs> why? I don't know. 
I think it's because you can bite it. Why? I think it's that must be something to do with the, the fact the that you corner. bite the corner of it. The corner. You never if if you ever see anyone bite it, get a triangle bit and bite the middle it's of true. it. It's true. Psychopath meat. Yeah, you are a psychopath, aren't you? Mm. But I would now. bite the corner of a rectangle anyway. It just doesn't taste as good though, no, does it? Doesn't like unless. It's a sausage butty. I hate one. You know when someone cuts sausage butties into triangles, I yeah. fume. Because you get a one little bit triangle. on the corner, you get a no, tiny no. little mingy you know bit what? of sausage that always falls off. Do you off. know what? I, I'm sorry. So I you end up with a flappy bit of sausage. I disagree with you. Hot sandwiches, I always cut into triangles. It, with sausage, because you get like five bits of sausage. You're you get one little mingy bit that falls off, so you end up with a flappy bit of just what, toast, I know what you're not saying, sausage on yeah, it, and you end up with a bit of sausage that you just pick up and eat. Do you know what? Time. I haven't had a sausage butty for fucking ages, you know. Do you know I used to live on them when I used to be skinny as fuck? I used to, me and my mate, Kelly, used to live on them. Mm. That's all we used to eat was, so, like, but what was the, what's the cheap sausages called? Like Richmond. Irish recipe. Yeah. Richmond. Frozen. Richmond, yeah, the Richmond sausages, they're like pinky. Yeah. Yeah. Right, with red sauce, no butter. No. Butter, though. No, no. Day. I can't have butter with a hot sandwich, right? It's the mingiest thing I've ever fucking done. Honestly, it's an insult. But I think it's very scouse to have butter on a hot sandwich. It is. It's just normal. I think Ooh. it is. No, because I had this conversation with the woman in the in the bakery over the road from my studio in Torquay. Where you live is Torquay. Exactly so. Yeah. It's fucking northern, isn't it? don't do it. It's northern, isn't it, to have butter on your hot sandwiches? Out. It's most of the country. All right, Scouse and the rest All of you. All the normal people in the country. All it's the real people. It's just nor- up north, north, isn't it? Because in Birmingham, it's not a thing. And down south, it's not a thing. Not butter on a chip butty. No. Oh no, I will do that. Actually, yeah, that's an exception. That's an exception. Sorry, but like oh, a bacon, a chip bacon, a sausage, right or anything like that. Egg, no, no fucking, no fucking fighting. No, no. So um, I used to get a load of shit for not having no butter, butter on beans on toast. I don't like butter on beans. Oh, on I toast. love that. I love it. Well, that's a hot sandwich. It's not though, is it? It's beans. An open hot sandwich. Beans. It's not. You can't have. You can't have a like. If I'm on a diet, I won't have butter on it. I will never have butter on beans on toast. <sighs> I've gone down a fucking rabbit hole here. A fucking food talk. Get very passionate about it though. It's mad, isn't it? It's mad what how passionate you can get about food and how you have food. I cut it lengthwise. Who's with me? No, that's weird. That I, do, I will cut the sausage butter lengthwise. No, length is saying not. Oh, that way. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Yeah, oh mate, I don't even know why that's weird. So much, but if I saw you do that, that's I would so fucking weird. never speak to you again. I don't think I'd, I'd talk a lot behind your back anyway. That's finger. That's like fucking soldiers. That's a soldier sandwich. What? That, you know. <laughs> so, no bu- butter on a bacon. Thank you. you Got to have butter on a bacon, buddy. Nah. The best bit. Just nah. just butter. Though. I'll just have butter on a sausage bar or bacon. Where are you all from? I need to know. So the ones that are saying butter. Do you know what we were talking? Came up, and we've talked about this before, so it's not it's not new to the show. But <coughs> the old um, fucking Castello oh, okay. did Diablo. Um, <coughs> I keep choking on drinks. Um, I'm so pissed. I've not got work tomorrow, bitches. Hey, what have? Huh? I haven't. I haven't got work. Oh, you got a baby shower though. I've got a baby shower. Not till two though. Have you got to drive to Birmingham for it? That's all right. Okay. We don't have to get up in the morning. I'm right. not, not until five o'clock. I'm staying in bed. I'm touching my willy. Don't you want me to touch your willy? Oh, yeah, please. That blow we did today was good, you know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a good don't, wife. Don't you get a good blow? We are out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. Just and just it's put a proper your good in my one. Mouth. Yeah. Like she was in the kitchen lying over the coast like that with her head. And, <laughs> so and like the kitchen wrong. window was open and people got to walk past and it was just exciting. <laughs> that's how that's you that's keep them. That's, that's, <laughs> and that's when I thought, I'm going to wife this one. Yeah. This wife and then you wife me and I go, get that thing out of oh my no. face. <laughs> Can you wash it for fuck's sake? <laughs> uh, never. <laughs> Getting a new manscape soon, so uh, 
nice and trim. Oh yeah, we'll have a little. I wonder what's better we'll on set them. Back we'll a, a new uh, manscape to carry on, to send us a new lawnmower four point oh. We're gonna do a giveaway. No, because I forget to post it out. We are getting two. All right, we'll do a giveaway then. I'll tell you what, we'll save one. When we open the studio and we right. hopefully get no, because they'll open we can a new one by give then. it to someone in there. No, we'll do a giveaway. Come on, we're gonna fucking. You're posting. Oh, <coughs> I'll post it. <coughs> Gypsy fucked you then. <laughs> I'll post it for you. I feel like I want to order food, me. No. Why? No. Because we have to wait for it from fucking Dixie some, Chicken, the fucking E. coli, fucking and that without licking bum. Why don't we cook him there, Marmaduke? Wait, don't you. order it on the pod. Let's say goodbye no, first. No, it's, 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 it's no come on. Enjoy it. It's We've been got two people. hours. <laughs> We've been on two hours. We've got 88 people fucking We've enjoying the show. We've been on two hours. Do you want us to go or do you want us to stay? I'm amazed if people say should go. Should I stay or should I go? Come yeah, on, we've been on from two Leeds. hours. Older shot, but now in Cologne. Oh, mate. Where's the fuck, where the fuck is that? Germany. Oh, is it? Mm. Oh, I thought that was like What's North East. I thought it was North East. Isn't it Boston? Someone says Germany. Cologne was North East. I thought Cologne was North East. That's Colm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even North East, though. Oh, isn't it? Oh. Where is it? It's like fucking, like, up, I don't even know. It's up Lancashire somewhere. Oh, Hannah wants to, Hannah Nana na, na, was. Was said we want to see him let you let see us let him through. Don't know if we can do that. I I have take to the do it wait because it's not good if we if we keep. No, I'm gonna there. let him go in the garden once we're done. We here. can't sit. We Wouldn't can't just leave him there. I'm not a horrible. Bastard. Nah, it's not horrible. He needs to. He needs to be free. I don't want him staring. I'll think about him when I'm in bed. I can't. Oh well, yeah, we've got. Um, Stop ordering food on the podcast. Charcoal hobs open. We're not calling it a podcast anymore. We're calling it a show. Yeah, we've been doing some market research today. Well, you have. Yeah, I have. I don't do yeah, that. I put a lot more effort in you. Uh, Look. <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm joking. I, that was a joke. Fucking, I show up. All right. I show up. Yeah, but, I, yeah, but come on, I bring something to the table. I bring ideas. Come on. I bring a lot of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Going charcoal hub. What? Or foodie holic. Oh, foodie holic's open. Oh, you like them with the bit of chicken burgers and that? Oh, you like them chicken smaller. burgers, don't you? Big boss burger. Yeah, yeah go on then. I'll have one of them. I want but some, like a smell. I want some kebab meat though. Um, hi, are you two. Love the show. Use. How you doing? Oh, we're fine, Ben. How are you? Uh, thanks for asking, Ben. Ben. Kirk Bride comedy. Do you know him? No. Do comedy get Ben? I feel bad now that I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't a fart, by the way. Sorry. That was a fart. That you I, I swear it wasn't. If it, <laughs> it sounded like it. I have got a dodgy hip, though. <laughs> I've got a dodgy. Do you know why I've got a dodgy hip? Right. I just wanted to. I've got a lot of party tricks under my on like in my belt. So one of my party tricks is I can do the splits, but I can only do it when I'm really pissed. So I don't feel the pain <laughs> that it entails. I also, mm. Paul, can put my leg behind my head. We've done this before on the podcast. Ages ago, though. <laughs> Stop that to me. I also, yeah, I can do a lot. I've got a lot of, of many skills. What do you reckon your best skill is? My finger. No, we've done that as well. And it wasn't well, that's that good. You've lost, you've lost that a bit. What do you mean? It's when you've done it, you were like, it's not it's as not as a right, It's not as a right angle anymore. I can do this, like, I feel like, because there's new people. I can't really do it, can I? But That is fucking horrible. Can you see that? that? It used to be a 90 degree angle. You know what though, when she sticks it up your bum and does that. <laughs> 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 it, it, it. Not with these nails on though. Not with her nails on. That's damaging. When she doesn't get some nails on, I'm fuming. I was just looking at it on the thing. Can anybody do that? Because if you can do it better than me, I'll give you fucking 50 quid. Send me 50 quid? 50 quid, because there's no one that can do it better than me. I think there is. No. In the there's world. people who can do it. Well, no, not in the world, just on here. 
So you got you can't just lift your finger. You've got to keep that bit there on the flat. <laughs> Get it on the I flat. Just, I've never met anybody that can do it as 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 strong as me. It used to be like upright. Ain't nobody as strong as can me. Can you not order food on the podcast? It's annoying. What, what do you mean? It's really bad. Yeah, but what we always do is we, we need to go. It's two hours I now. Go on, man, enjoying myself. Yeah, but stop ordering food then. I really don't know. And then this will take forty minutes to come. We've got another half an hour to chat. This is not good. So otherwise, no. you won't let me do it. No. Yeah. Don't do it. Shut up. Don't do it. Shh. So Ben said he's just starting out comedy, mate. Ah ha ha ha. Nothing oh, yeah. too special just yet. Have you got any uh, gigs booked in a hot water comedy, Ben? How old are you, Ben? Tell us. Well, maybe we should start together, me and you. Want some comedy advice, Ben? I want comedy Don't advice. Don't fucking do it, Ben. Give me some comedy I'll advice. I'll do it, boss. Give me comedy advice. What do you mean? I want you won't listen to me. I will. Of course I will. I always listen you to you. You comedy advice? Why? You're an expert. You hear that, people? Paul Smith said I'm an expert comedy. <laughs> I feel like he's lying, though. <laughs> why are you just nodding, ah, Ben? Why you just do that I just to seen me? you. <laughs> I really heard that. <laughs> Jay yes. said, "Yes, Paul. How are we, fella? Are you it only just all good, Jay. I haven't. Can't believe we've now. still got 91 people watching. That's crazy. That's what crazy. are you all doing? You all off your head or what? Friday night, isn't it? Um, Friday. I am night. good, Jay. Um. Pretty good, yeah. Uh, comedy advice. I used to do a stand-up comedy course. I know. I wish I'd have done it. I can do it for you. Can you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's not the same. I like. I like. Yeah, I like a one. team. Right, so when we stand-up comedy course. Go on then. A bridge. Go on then. Lesson one, day one. Go on. Right. How much is this worth? How much do people pay for this? Uh, I didn't used to charge much. People used to charge grands for them. Still. Go on then. What right. did you I always charge? felt bad because uh, you know, you know me, like. Like, the thing about me oh, is... Oh, 17, Ben. Hiya, Ben. Oh, Come on, me, I'll see. give you some advice. We'll sort that out. Where are you, where are you from, Ben? Um, really want to go to hot water. That'd be sick. Just looking you have to be 18, though. No. About open mic nights right now. I need to get to the hot water badly, though. Yeah, when you 18, Ben. Oh, Dad's still here. Hi, Dad. Right, Ronnie. You're right, Ron. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Less than one. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Mic technique. Okay. Move the mic stand. <laughs> Move the mic stand. It sounds that stupid. I know, like, yeah. I know what you're saying. But, yeah, I remember this. Uh, so, th- as soon as you get on stage, take the mic off, move the mic don't stand. don't have to. No. There's, there's always exceptions to the rule. Some people don't like Nick doesn't. Nick Page, who was no, on he tonight. No, he keeps it on there, keeps doesn't he? I noticed there's, that. You can do it, but be aware, if you are going to keep it there, just be aware of what it does. It just creates that barrier. Yeah. So Nick's a big imposing guy, so it's not a big issue for him. Yeah. But and Nick doesn't move. But if you're going to be like me, and if you, when you're telling your stories, yeah. you want to move around the stage, yeah. that mic stand is going to be a fucking nightmare for you. So immediately, yeah. you want to get your mic out to stand and move the mic stand out your way. Yeah. It sounds dead daft, and you might be thinking that's stupid. But the amount of literally the amount of open spots I watch not do that, and it fucks them up. Really? It's pathetic. It's crazy that, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for that. It's mad. And I don't I, what the mad thing like. One of, the, one of our old show managers was going to try stand-up, and he was like, he dead cocky. And I was like, what are you going to do? And he was like, don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing. I went, give me your first minute. And he walked onto the mic stand. He walked onto the stage. It was like, oh, and he tried to get the mic out of the stand. Fucking completely faffed it. Yeah. Fucked it up. Couldn't get the mic out of the fucking clip. <laughs> and then just it, it just, it was just a shambles. And I was like, you fucked up already. Isn't it ironic that I just told you to... Basically, speak close to the mic when you're telling me about mic skills. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can still hear me. <laughs> that was ironic. <laughs> Maybe any podcast lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, lad. <laughs> um, that's lesson one. All you should do is um, was people used to no, most people used to do it for not stand up. Me stand up course. Most people used to do it for like public speaking or just confidence and stuff. That's yeah. why I done it in the first place. Oh. Just think like a I confidence need, course. Do you think thing. I need that? Confidence? No. Why? Because 
I'm not always confident. The most confident person. <laughs> nah. Oh, that's. It's weird when you, I hear people say that because you know this is uh, actually the truth. I'm not as confident as I let on. No, I know. No one is though. Yeah, I know that's a fact. Like, I, I have weird, like mad, like fear things with certain things. Mm. Um, I know because you used to be scared of the singing on stage and stuff. I am I scared. Like of I still am. No, I no, still but am. I feel like no, like this is like it's, it's yeah. But for serious though, if I do, if I if someone went right, I need you to go on stage and I need you to sing a, a song that's serious, like that would freak me the fuck out. Like I can come on here and sing a song, and because there's no pressure to it and it's not related to singing, then I can sing and I don't feel nervous. But like, if I'm at someone told me to sing on stage and they're all listening to me, my voice sing, no, I fuck up, bad, bad. I don't. sang on stage. Die on my ass, die on my ass, bad. Sang some Marilli on stage. You sang what? <laughs> some there's a couple in the front row said they met a Mar- at a Marilli in concert. What's that? Don't know. It was ah, oh, what was the Kaylee? Not too late to say I'm sorry. It's like eighties prog rock. Prague rock. We've been together for years. And you met at a, a, a Marillion concert. Sorry, Prague. Reminds me of Pog. Remember Pogs? <laughs> Just an ADHD swat. Yeah, you're an advert. <laughs> Who remembers Pogs? Do you remember Pogs? I was never into Pogs. I love Pogs, you know. They got banned from my school because people was crazy. O- lad, like, kids were crazy over Pogs bad though remember the slammers that used to get with them 90s games that was 90s children's playground games and used to get like the glittery ones and that i feel like i've gone off on the tangent here. <laughs> but, I, like, when you you said I was watching you thinking what did i watch pog banter she's got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like when you said progs it reminded me of pogs i fucking love pogs you know do you know if you look at pogs on eBay, they go for loads. They're like clusters, like retro. Mm, yeah, they are retro. It's like fucking thirty years Do you know ago. No, I meant much money. I used to spend on pogs as a kid. All my pocket money. I used to love it. You and used I used to win. Do you know what else I used to love? Sticker books. I always thought pogs was just a shit version of my like, conkers. No, the better version. Wonder of where conkers. the kids pl- still do conkers. No, they don't. They're not allowed. They got banned. Do you know? My, me and my granddad were pro conquerors. We're conquerors. We used to go out all day on a Sunday and, and get conquerors and then soak them in vinegar. Soak them in vinegar. No, that was that's that's harsh. That we used to soak them in vinegar. Soak them in vinegar. And um, then they got you banned. You rolling your eyes at me? I wasn't. You rolled your eyes at me saying we used nail varnish then. I wasn't. I was just talking. I had the fucking 367 at once. What? What? Con- conquerors? Con- conquerors. You had a three hundred and six. Is that a score? Yeah. I didn't. I just used to smash him. Yeah, but didn't have scores. No, you have a score. So if I beat you, it's a one. And yeah. then if I beat another person, it's a two. Oh. If yours is a two and I beat yours, the mine's a three. Maybe I don't remember this. And score then it just adds system. up. So then if yours is a fifty-seven and the mine's a sixteen, I have to do the math. I get yeah. End. I get. Oh, I'm the same conquer. You had a three hundred and what? Fuck. What conquer? Van- fuck. Massive. Oh. Vanished the fuck, and it got beat. Got smashed in half, and I swear this cunt had a pool ball. <laughs> <laughs> Patty Brown. <laughs> I don't want it to dissect that cunt. <laughs> I was like, let me see that cunt. It's like, fuck off. It's a fucking... Two, a fucking pool ball. 11,058, I mean. <laughs> fuck off. Knocking kids out. Oh, of them, God. <laughs> Did you look at it closely? No. It was wild. Dirty rat. No. Fucking dirty it's back rat. In the day, that was a stone, mate. That was a stone painted conker. Yeah. Fucking defo, but no, it was perfectly conc- round. No, remember, sorry, a conker paint stone. I remember thinking stone. that's a very round conker, though. That was a fucking pebble. It's a fucking pool ball, always. It's just <laughs> a good. Uh, just like Pokemon cards were for fortune nowadays. No, I was never into Pokemon. That was, that was like, after my childhood. I only started playing Pokemon, like... Oh, Danny Switch Jessup, then. I got the Pog Maker from Argos. Oh, my God, I remember the Pog Maker. Big boy thing. Oh, no, we've got no minutes left. Oh, no. Quick. 
We have to say goodbye now, kids. <sighs> it's counting down. We're going to have Is to it? say goodbye. Yeah, it's flashing. No minute. Well, I can swap it over. No, come on. I'll swap it over. Do you want to get off? I mean... I mean, that one's fine. I'll just... Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> What is this one, the streaming one? No, this is the recording one. one. This is the first time, yeah, that we've run out. So is this, is this the recording one? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I don't feel that. Like like okay. Well, this is the first time this we've run out. Of <laughs> how many hours do we get to? An hour and 15 minutes. So we've done for two hours now. Let's have a look. Tickets booked for Sunderland. Yes. Who dipped their conkers in vinegar? Major. That's what I was saying. But Paul went next level. Yeah, and 21 minutes on that one. Paul went next level and he fucking put varnished his conkers. Crazy that. Yeah. Laurie's trying to bail it. The wrath. Don't call me a rat, you little fucking <laughs> stupid Jack Dean. Fucking cheeky cunt. <laughs> yeah, Paul only calls me a rat. He's the only one who's allowed to call me a rat. A rat. No one else. Rat emoji, sneak emoji. I used to put wall filler in my conkers so they wouldn't break. Oh, me. See, there was some fucking... That's what happened. There was some <laughs> heavy kids. And I, I can't even moan because I did fucking like, soak and put fucking nail varnish and shit on mine. <laughs> but fuck me, there was some heavy cunts about putting fuck. They, there was defo fucking like bullets and shit in them. Yeah. That cunt's had a pool ball. I'm not asked. I've thought about this for years. I've never got over it, you know. Because, you know what, when you had the 367 eh, you were the fucking boy. Like, it was, you were like I a know. celebrity you know in the school. I would have you know I mean? really fancied you. used to ask to see it and that. If there was phones and that, people would have got selfies with me. I like, would have really fancied you back I then. I know. Well, I no, would. you wouldn't because like, I was like seven. No, but I would have. No, I did. I used to, I remember when I was in school, I still used to fancy people when I was seven. I remember, right. I had crushes. I was never good with girls in school, but I remember, right, getting... Mm. Fingered. No, <laughs> the hot, yeah, getting fingered when I was six. Um, I had dinner lady. <laughs> oh, um, no, I remember right in a junior school. Yeah. There was a girl called Gemma Holt. Oh, yeah. Right. Sounds sexy. Well, I wouldn't, sexy is not the word to it. I wonder what she looks like now. I wonder what she looks like now. Mm. But I remember us both. I mean, I might, it's just one of them when I might have a skewed memory of this. And Gemma Holt yeah. might message me and go, what the fuck are you talking about? That's <laughs> please, please message in. Gemma I Holt. remember being in school. Uh, I actually saying, shagged someone called Steve Holt. Weird I that, you were saying junior school then. No. And the freak me out. And no, sorry, and carry on. Yes. I remember in junior school, we were, it was the first time I'd, she said she was my girlfriend and then everyone kicked off about it and we, everyone was giving us loads of shit in the playground. And I always remember it. The whole playground, like, going, eee. Eee what? Because of what? Because we were boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Well, that was, how old was you? I don't know, junior school, so like seven or something. Well, my Gracie, she's four and she's got a, a boyfriend. But that's the thing. I think what happened was Gemma, Gemma Holt just told me I was her boyfriend. Oh, she just told you? Is that yeah. a bit like how, what I did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's still happening. So you're going to be in my life forever. <laughs> yeah, you're my boyfriend Friend now. Friend or boyfriend, yeah. whatever it is, so whatever you're you in think, my life. Just fucking swear. And if you don't be with me and you be with someone else, I'm going to make her life live in hell. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to end up just being with me anyway. I'll be in the front row of every gig. Every gig fucking ruining your life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what else I used to collect as well? So I used to love a sticker book. Sorry, I'm going back to the sticker book. I used to love a sticker book. And I like, I used to be, I, I used to play football when I was, um, when I was in school, do you know? And can anyone guess what position I played? Midfield. Goalie. <laughs> oh, the big hands. Of course. I was goalie. And we won Birmingham schools. Because of my excellent saves, and uh, I used to, I used to collect all like I used to collect the stickers for the Euros and things like that. I used to fucking love that. I used to love filling a sticker book. I was obsessed with it. Still do that, huh? Any kind of sticker book. It was a, there was a point a couple of years ago where comedians were being because comedians are all fucking mings. Mm. 
like doing fucking panini stickers and that. Bro was into it. I love it though. I love sticker books, like yeah, any kind of sticker men book. Men doing it, yeah, it's pathetic. so satisfying to pathetic fill a though. sticker book. Pathetic. No, I, honestly, it's like grown men, like I'm wrestling. Now I would love to get into it. Do you know? Still, when I go into Tesco's and they've got the little boxes of stickers on the side, I look at it and I think, oh, get that little like that little tingle in my fucking fanny, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'd love to buy like collect them stickers now. I really would. Yeah, there's something Still about get collecting it. that people yeah. like. Yeah, I used to collect brooches. It's like, it's like, and I, I'll play games and I'll go around and collect all the little like trophies in the game. I'll take, I'll spend hours there. No, doing but I like stuff. tangible shit. I do. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Like I just know not the, real I stuff. The achievements. <laughs> Liam Younger said I used to collect snails. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we collect exotic moths. Are we still here? Yeah? Yeah, I'm a Duke. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to collect, so let me just tell you what I used to collect, and then you can tell me whether. Uh, you I used to, to, right uh, there. I used to collect brooches. Right? When I was a kid, I used to have a box <laughs> that I used to collect, dr like dress um, jewelry, like brooches in, right? And you know, I fucking left them in a house when I was in my 20s, and I reckon some of them were worth some money. I used to collect them at car. I used to go to car boots. And when I, with my pocket money, when I was like eight, I used to fucking buy old women's brooches. Oh, man, imagine one of them as your millions, like old I know. Horses. And do you know what else I used to collect? Trolls. I hated them. But not the fucking new age trolls, what they are now. The proper trolls. The, the retro trolls. I used to have them all around my bedroom. And I don't know how I did, because they are quite scary, the old trolls. With the hair sticking up. They were quite weird. They looked like fucking fetuses. And I used to have astronaut troll. I used to have fucking every single troll going. And I used to spend all my money on that. So what What did you collect? Did you collect anything? Nat West pigs. <gasps> you know what else I used to do? I don't feel like he even registered. <gasps> oh, the, oh, I know. The Nat West pigs. Rude. The Nat West pigs. <laughs> no, I did listen. Yeah, the money boxes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing I can remember. I had the baby one. I used one. to do stickers in there. Did you? Yeah. Sticker books. I'm not really there. Not Maybe now, obviously. No. But do you know what else I used to um, be obsessed with when I was a kid? Ghosts. Witches. Used to collect ghosts. UFOs. No. Really? I yeah. I used to have. Surprise. No, I used it? to have a scrapbook. Right. That you're I, a fucking nerd, aren't you? I know. Oh my god! I used to have a I scrapbook. Just realize that you're a nerd. So what? You're so nerds lucky are cool, and pretty. You. you got big tits, you know, because if you were, you'd be so, fucked. So you, being you know. good, so being pretty and having big tits and being a nerd is not sexy. You're telling me it's not sexy. It's sexy because well, you're pretty and you got big tits. No, it's sexy. <laughs> Right, I used to have a scrapbook. You're, no, but I I'm, used, what I'm saying on. is, you probably had a lot easier time in your life than other nerds because you're sexy and you got big tits. Yeah, well, I'm the anomaly, aren't you've I? Done, you've I'm done all right for yourself there. I? I'm the Neo. Mm. Well, and I used to have a scrapbook, and I used to cut, I used to read the newspaper, my granddad's newspaper, when I used to live with my granddad. And I used to cut out any, I used to, like, get my granddad to buy me, like, the ghost magazines, like, the spirit and fate, or whatever it was. And I used to cut out articles, and scrapbook them <laughs> about ghosts and UFOs and weird shit and Bigfoots and shit. And I used to like cut out articles and stick them in my scrapbook oh my with the prick stick. Terrifying. Do you know what else I used to collect? Beanos I've and dandies. And I used to go around to the car boots with my nan and granddad. And I used to buy all the old, like they used to just put them in boxes with all the b old books and stuff. And I used, I had a Beano from like nineteen fucking thirties or something yeah. like that. It's crazy, like they're worth some dollar now. I used to like the um, Marvel comics and that. Oh, did you? I still do, don't I? Yeah, you still I mean, do. I've got like a signed Stanley right there. Mm. Um, that's going in the back of the podcast. Mm. Do I have a lot of money now? Is it? It's signed by actually Stanley. Do you know? How do you know it is there? No, it literally is. Was you there me. when he did? Oh, really? Mm. It's, oh. It's, it's all numbered and certificates and stuff. It went up. That, like, tripled in value when he died. Um, but, yeah, I used to... Uh, but I had a load of um, old Helen's... Not me ex-Helen. 
because they knew I was into all that shit. Yeah. He had a box of these old fucking comics. Yeah. Like Captain fucking Cap- like you know have Captain America. Yeah. It was like Captain Britain and that. Fucking hell. You know what I mean, so like the fucking dead old man. Patriotic comics. as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> so the um give me them all and I was like I had a little read them all and that but they were dead old so I thought I'll go and see how much, what if these are worth anything because I yeah. thought because I'd looked and they were like fucking worth what? loads though yeah and I was like shit so I thought I'll go and check what like mm. they were just like the black versions you know what I mean yeah just, just looking at what people um collected match attacks what were them they were I think I was too old I'm too old for them match attacks what were them do you know no um, you've got massive hand, Ron. Mine are ridiculous. Yeah, I used to love those sticker books, but the level of frustration if I seen someone's stickers weren't in the lines. Oh my god, yeah. You know, if people yeah, used yeah, to stick them, like <gasps> I had really mine bad. Mine were always wonky though. No, mine weren't. I'm a wonky no, sticker. No, mine weren't. It used to, be, and if I used to put a wonky sticker in, if I had a mad like brain fucking freeze or something like that, it used to. Pe- I used to feel like starting again. Weird OCD with like straight lines. Um, oh, I collect. Yeah. Lauren said she collected Cabbage Patch Kids. Shit, that. Ugly bastards, though, weren't they? Yeah. I mean, I know trolls were, but they were quite cute back then. Um, should get you on the podcast singing, Josh. Why does Josh sing? We had a question before that I wanted to ask him because Neo said that we should answer oh, Phil's that? question. Which what was was that? Does Paul Beards hash tickle your gash? Um, no because for me to have any sensation from a a tickle from me he'd have to do nothing else sorry does it does it ever cause you gas rash no because he'd have to literally be like this I'd have to literally just rub his beard on me gash. I don't do that because I'm not. And he doesn't do that because he's a very sensual man. Lover. There's an ice cream involved. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, looking around the cone. <laughs> That's a skill that. Yeah, I had to know. teach. Do you know I had to teach my four year old? I know this is really weird because I've just, like, but it's. Right, because you know when a kid has a fucking ice cream mm. and you don't want to let him in the car, do you? No, absolutely but You want to get home, do you know what I mean? You want to get an ice cream. Ice cream away, so what I'm saying is I had to teach, I thought, I'm going to teach my f- my three-year-old, but well, she's four now, but this this is when I taught her. I teach my three-year-old at the time to how to lick round an ice cream so that it doesn't spill. And she's a pro. Yep, your three year old Gracie's a lot cleverer than my she's two boys. So think. clever. Like she won't have any like mess like that. She literally Well she doesn't mean, let any drips down and because I've taught her well. There's different measures are clever, but like she's a Resourceful. lot Resourceful. S- she's a lot more physically and I don't even know what's the word, she's a lot like smarter. Yeah. Like Alex is a clever boy. He's clever. He's very clever, clever in his yeah. in his speech and stuff. Yeah, he speaks yeah. like he's about fucking forty five. Yeah, I don't know where. Age. Yeah, he, I swear this kid <laughs> lives a double life. Yes, I swear he to says God. he reckons he's got a house got and a, a job. Yeah. He says he I've got a house. Yeah, go to go to my house. Yeah, but we he's can't five and he's got a better vocabulary than me. Yeah, and he's he talks about his house and he, he speaks a and lot. And a job. He, he speaks a lot more cleanly than me. He's weird, isn't Cause, it? Because he's fucking YouTube. I swear to God. Yeah. But like Gracie is smart. Yeah, she's got. Um, she's very Smartest resourceful. Of all of them. Yeah, she'd trick ev- everyone. She'd trick us. Yeah, uh, all the other four are dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my uh, my apparently my older two are like they're Birkenheaders. Apparently, <laughs> but who was that that said that on oh, the live? We were on Instagram live before, and uh, Ben came on, and then Joe Cavanagh, who's a local boxer, uh, I'd get as well. James and Frankie Knuckles come on I'm a fucking he's that kid's from Birkenhead I was like that's her son no? and he was like oh oh and then he went to, do you want to see me and he just looked at the staff and, and she went is that your fucking bird <laughs> <laughs> and he went oh Fuck off. <laughs> absolutely done him it was great yeah I don't know where the chat's going here 
Right, I think we've only got five minutes left now. Phil's getting a lot of message restricted here. Stop being rude. There we go. Hey, Phil, is it you? Is it Phil Reed, the comedian? I just want to know. <laughs> You've got a logo going a logo, on there. So I so feel like it is. Be. How's things, Phil? Be. I haven't seen you for ages. It must be. We started at the same time, me and Phil, but we yeah. couldn't be on the same bill. Why? Because we look exactly the <laughs> same. Oh, that's weird, that. And people, like, we couldn't, just couldn't be on the same bill. Right, then I think we need to do, actually need to say goodbye now before it runs out. <laughs> yeah, we've got, like... Seven minutes. Seven minutes left. Um, it's been lovely, It's this been one. so good. We've mm. gone on for two and a half hours, nearly. Had a nice time. Literally two um, and a half hours. Met Marmaduke. That was crazy. I'm sorry, that bird that flew in. I'd rather it had been a bird. I'd have felt more compassion towards it. Flew in with pineapple joggers on. It's I feel like he's not moved for ages. I feel like we need to let him go. Don't, because I'll cry. <gasps> okay, he's alive. Oh, he's gone upside down. Oh, no, he's alive. Right, he's a geezer. Good sound. Right then, everybody. Thank you so much. We've done. Th we've done a. I mean, this isn't going to be podcast friendly, yeah, so but we've done one every night, haven't we, for the past three nights? Yeah, because we're trying to we're trying to up our schedule because we want to do. We want to see if we can get talk closer. Oh, they can hear me. They can't. We want to see. Uh, they can. They can't. Go on. We want to see. If, uh, we want to see if we can get a Patreon involved. Um. Mm. So we want to see if we can. We have a very busy schedule, don't we? We do, but we are going to be We're very committed, committed we? to our fans. Because, you know what, we started this as a little hobby. As a little, well, I, I wasn't, I was just a guest, mm. weren't I? And I kind of started as like, oh, that'll be fun to do. That'll be fun to get Laura And it is dead fun to do, but now we're like, I think this could be something good. It could be something. The and start people seem something. to like it, and people seem to get, we get so many messages of people like. Yeah. Because I, I, I get messages of people saying, oh, you stand up, got me for lockdown, and that, yeah, which is yeah. then lovely, but now we're getting them about the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, about the pod, and so I, I am as like, well. It's lovely. You know what, if people are enjoying it, let's, uh, let's, make, a, let's, let's make a concerted effort. Yeah, because people say, please don't stop, please, because carry on what you're doing, like, please yeah, don't stop doing it. because we were going to fuck it off, weren't we? Yeah. We were going to like, oh, it's done now. Like, oh, we're working now, we're signed, but. We, I think it'd be people, sad. People would be, yeah, and people it get really upset. Dead. I think we, they would. They'd be pissed off. Mm. Um, see, like Beth said, you make my day. Ah, that's lovely, isn't it? It's nice that we're making people's day. Don't worry, Hannah and Nas was. We won't forget Mama Duke. We're gonna let him go. No, we're gonna go and let him we go. We promise. Now. Yeah, we'll film it. We'll we won't. We wouldn't do it. We wouldn't do anything bad to him. Nah, we're, we're good guys. But the big fella did fuck me up bad. Um, you need to give me that mouth. Um. Thank you for tuning in and watching the show. Um, thank you to our sponsor, Orange County CBD. Use uh, the code JKR25 yeah, to get 25% off. At orange.county.cbd uh, or at orangecounty-cbd.com. Mm -hmm. um, get on them because every time you buy something, it helps us out. Yeah. And CBD's boss. Yeah. So get the vape, get the oil, do us a favour. Um, yeah. That's all. Bye, everybody. We love you. What's the we'll story, Paul and Laura? Um, on Monday, if you're watching, just go on. If you know if you watch the shows before on live, yeah, and just want to say to like click like and like give and us a subscribe. Little comment. I'm gonna tell you what's been going on. I don't know how you're this pissed. I'm not pissed. I'm just being me. Fucking hell. You always do this. You got told off for this before. Don't do it again. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. 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 The story, Paul and Laurie, tell you what's been going on. How to get eco life from licking bum. Look at the conspiracies and aliens. Tell you about pissy floors, popping spots, and one bomb.